What's up everybody? I hope everyone is ready because today is gonna be a long one. It's like almost 1 p.m. <laughs> Meaning uh, the votes are gonna be split in two while I eat dinner and uh, we're just gonna go and continue with as much as grindingly possible. Uh, yeah, that's it. I hope we're gonna have a little bit of a good time. It's gonna be rough though, most likely. Maybe not, maybe I'm just too good. We'll see. I do really need to figure out a way to get more money in this game though, in uh, this on this character. <clears throat> uh, that being said, yesterday we did all the side missions. Submissions, and now we're gonna do the main missions. Shouldn't be too bad if you ask me. But we'll see that soon enough. Get a hit in one of that. Say, buddy, you got a minute? Hmm. The name is Takamine. Every now and again, I'll have a little challenge with the local batters called a hobby of mine. So, once you square off, there's money in it for you if you hold up. I'm always down for money. Your picture, I take. Yep, so here's how it works. You get one at the bar, and all you need to do is hit a single pitch to win. Easy, right? You know, I'll pass. Baseball and betting don't mix, in my opinion. Hope you can find someone else. Oh, come on, don't say that. Tatsuo Shinada. Who are you, and how do you know me? Well, what would be... That would be because I'm a hired gun, sent by Shirakawa-san. Put you up to this, what for? I'll tell you if you beat me. Now whip out that wallet and let's get to it. Which are we asking? 25... 50k, Jesus, I can't pronounce shit. Ow, that's way too much. 50 grand for one bat? Give me a break. Relax, relax, I already got my cut from Shirakawa, so... Uh, you can play for free. Oh, jeez, you scared me for a minute. Well, what's it gonna be? You're taking the challenge, win, and it's 50 grand for you. Plus a little vignette about Shirakawa-san. Not a bad deal, I'd say. Alright then, challenge accepted. Of course it is. How could you refuse? Set, let's get this start, let's get this show started. Gotta warn you, don't stack me in for a hit in ages. Hope you can handle the heat. You might be surprised. I like that answer. Here goes! No cutscene for him? One bat, one hit. No hard feelings, but you're about to get smoked. Oh, here's the cutscene. Need to be a little bit more patient if we use my heat eye. What the? How in the haystack did you hit that? I know, right? Not a lot of pros can fire out breaking balls with that kind of impunity. I'm sure wouldn't stand a chance against you. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. I should congratulate you then. I'm honored. Praise from a cheater and a sloppy one at that. Whoa, whoa. What are you accusing me of here? Save your blubbering buster. I know a doctored ball when I see one. You scuffed that thing with a with sandpaper or something so it would spin weird. I'm amazed no one's seen through that old trick. Fudge knuckle. Alright. There's no hiding it. You win. <laughs> okay, you promised. Tell me about Shirkawa. Ask that guy yourself, huh? There he is. Shirakawa. How long have you been standing there? Long enough to see your game sense hasn't gone to shit. So you were testing me, huh? Does that mean we're cleared up our misunderstanding? Not by a long shot. All you did was get uh, hit off some two-bit con artist. Nothing changed. Thought you might say that. And hey, 
Has Kurosaki kept in touch with you? Yeah. Nope. The guy's been a lone wolf as long as I can remember. Yeah, sounds about right. But forget about him. You're the one on trial here. I'll be back in full form for a showdown, and when I strike your ass out, well, let's just say begging for forgiveness won't help you. You don't have to do this, Shirakawa. You'll only hurt your shoulder even worse. Yeah, let the man do whatever he wants. It's his life, not ours. <laughs> You can't uh, change a uh, man's head sometimes. Uh, excuse me, do you have a moment? Fatherly voice, yes. We often see you here, and boy, you bash out hits with authority. Am I right to assume you have experience in sport? Well, you might say that, so what's it to you? Actually, we were hoping you could evaluate my son's pitching to see if he has potential. All you'd have to give me is one at bat. I'll be doing the pitching. You're not gonna use your son to gamble, are you? Like, that's all I've been running into lately. Make a bet here, someone wants me dead there. It's ridiculous. Oh no, nothing of the sort. At least technically speaking, there are always many things at stake at our end. So, in a way, it is a gamble. Clarification, please. My son is in his last year of junior high. He hopes to go to Kosian tournament in high school and eventually reach the major leagues. What school he makes it into next year will largely determine the course of his future. You're not wrong. If you can get into a top team with a good shot at Kosian, your chances of going pro get a lot better. So which high school are you hoping for? Say so high school. Whoa, they're pretty much expected to show at Kosian. Kosian. Last I checked, everyone on their roster is there on some kind of fancy athletic scholarship. Yes, indeed. But, you see, I got a call from a certain person regarding an invitational enrollment opportunity. Whoa, that's impressive. Awesome for you. Yes, but I'm also worried how my son would fare among the nation's elite. To be honest, I am unsure if, you, if it would, benefit, if it would be benefit, a beneficial experience. We're hoping my son could pitch against a veritable slugger like you. Uh, we want to see if he can rank among the best. Well, what the heck, let's do it. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, Michio, off to the mount you go. Thank you for this opportunity. Okay, now it's time to win this. Just watch me, Dad. I'll prove to you I'm good enough to go. I have no doubt you are. If you give it your best effort, now stay calm and concentrate, but don't forget to unleash your fighting spirit when it counts. I can tell you're really invested in his future, so why not skip all this and send him straight to that school? Then he can go to Koshin without a hinge. Please put our situation aside for now. I'd like you to concentrate to give my son a good challenge. If you can hit a home run before he strikes you out, that will decide the duel and where he goes to school. If you say so. I hope I don't ruin your kid's education. Education! Don't go easy on me just because I'm a student, sir. I don't expect any mercy. Spoken like a Kojian all-star. It'd be disrespectful if I didn't go all out. Good, because here it comes. Life depends on this. Here goes. For better grip or something. Well, I'm a little bit low on uh, heat. I notice. Did you just? Did he throw his bat? <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it. So I'm not good enough after all. Don't be so hard on yourself, kid. I actually made it to Koshian, so get that. But Dad and I already decided we're turning Say So down since you got a home run off me. So there it is. Really? Just like that? I appreciate you taking the time out of this. Here, a thank you gift from both of us. It's uh, maybe it's not my place, but don't you think basing his career off a duel with a random stranger is a wee bit unfair? I mean, the kid's still in junior high, he's got his whole life ahead of him. 
To me, it seems like a waste to deny such a rare invitation. That would be true if it were official. And that means what exactly? My son has always been an excellent pitcher. So much so that a certain individual caught wind of his talent and contacted me discreetly. According to what he said, Michio could get an invitational placement at Seishio High School in return of a large fee. So he made you a backdoor deal, in other words. Tech, you never told me anything like that. You mean my invitation wasn't real? I'm sorry I didn't tell you. But you see, I agonized over this decision. Of course, I knew my son had real talent. And even though this invitation came to us through bribery, the man did say that it was on only offered to a real prospects. As for the cost of entry, he wanted 5 million yen. Whoa, that much? Yes. But Seicho does have a full complement of training facilities and coaches. It's perfect for would-be pros like Michio. Pulling together 5 million certainly won't be easy for me, but I thought if it would help my son follow his dream. Now even then, I couldn't reach a decision. That's why I thought having you put him to the test. Dad, is that what's this about? Were you really going to accept a bribe if I won, without me even knowing? I don't want to put your thoughts uh, through anything like that. Besides, I can play baseball anywhere. No matter where I go, I'll never stop following my dream. If I really do have talent, I can achieve my goals no matter what the circumstances, right? I learned that from you, Dad. Son. Heh. <laughs> now forget a word of what you just said, Michio-kun. In baseball, you of course need talent and effort, but you also need perseverance. It's not easy holding on to a dream, no matter what comes at you. But people who do are the ones who earn success. Even a knucklehead like me can understand that. Guess wisdom comes with age. <laughs> Uh, it's decided. I'm turning down the offer. I'm ashamed I even considered it. Maybe it was me who believed in my son the least. Kurosaki, hey, what's all this about turning me down? Uh, Kurosaki, exactly like, like I said, Kurosaki-san, I've made up my mind. I do appreciate your generosity, but in the end, I don't think it's right for us. You mean you made a deal with this shyster? Yes, well, it was Kurosaki-san who approached me. That I did. In fact, I already made the arrangement to get your boy into the school. So it's a little too late to be changing your mind. The deal's a deal. Just turn him down flat. This guy only sees baseball as a way to swindle people out of their money. Even if that invitational schlot becomes a ticket to Koshin, if Michio were to turn pro, Kurosaki will be sure to shake him down for hush money. Shinoda, you stay out of this. What would a loser like you know? It's okay, Shinoda-san. You brought me back to my senses. I suppose we should be going now. You absolute dick! That's another job you cost me! Want to take it up with the authorities? You got more to lose than me. Besides, I don't know if you're trying to be a broker or what, but you're going to crash and burn if you keep this up. Fuck you! You don't know jack shit about me, and you're gonna pay for what you've done. I'll see to it. Am I gonna get my ass kicked again? <laughs> Such anger. What could have wrapped him so badly? Warped him, not wrapped. Right? Maybe uh, I'm just blind and can't read again. I mean, that's something that always happens. An amulet that adds great power to running throws. Okay, on to the next one. A new machine. Get five home runs and ten pitches, despite the advertisement of super fastballs who get all kinds of throws. <clears throat> Shouldn't be too hard, honestly. 145 kilometer an hour pitching machine. Hot oh, damn. Let's see. Here, max throwing velocity of 145 kilometers per hour. Hit five home runs out of ten pitches to win a super deluxe prize. What is this super deluxe prize? An Italian scarf. I knew you would bite you the... Whoa, what are you doing back here? Can't you tell? Akamatsu through at 150 kilometers an hour. If you think you can hit that, 145 should be easy, right? Well, yeah, I guess. Prove it to me, Shinda. Five home runs out of ten pitches. I'm sure you can pull it off. You're testing me again like you did with that cheater? Fine. I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm not doing this for you, though. I'm doing it for the super deluxe prize. I don't care about your motive. motive. Motive? Fucking hell, bro. Motive. Just get on with it. I'll be watching. F 
Five home runs. Super fast balls. Ichi. Nichi. This mini game becomes a shit ton easier once you like actually uh, get all the stats correct. It's super crazy. To think I was worried about this one beforehand was absolutely bonkers. That one was really fast though. out of 10. There, you see that Shirakawa? You happy now? Yeah, yeah. Here's your super deluxe prize. Italian scarf, huh? What heck am I supposed to do with this? That's entirely up to you. All I know, it's fulfilled my end of the bargain. Can't have contest with that prize, right? Wait, don't tell me you paid for this yourself. Did you reserve that pitching machine too? <laughs> I sure did. Now I know I can take you on directly without debating over whether I'm wasting my time. After all, even if I do replicate um, Akamatsu's pitching, it would be futile if your game's resting away. Yeah, but can you really imitate Akamatsu's pitching with your bum shoulder? That machine was nothing compared to him. Oh, it won't be a repeat of our last duel. I could almost take stake my life on it. You're really dead set on this, aren't you? You won't have to wait much longer. Soon, I'll be ready for you. Be seeing you around, Shinada. Shinada-san. What's he got up his sleeve? A cybernetic arm? I hope he doesn't pull some cr kind of crazy stunt. It's good, because I bet we can sell that Italian scarf for some dough, though. Because we need more dough before we can actually do uh, chat up our, li our Missy. In this section, um, okay. Next one is new leads wanted. Get five home runs and ten pitches. The guy tends to like his sliders. I don't know what sliders are. Hey, Bukuru, you got a minute? Um, can I help you? You can if you're Tatsuo Shinada, the former wyvern. That is you, right? Well, who's asking? I'm Asada, a reporter with Kine Sports. All right, so what are you hitting me up for some kind of interview? Of sorts. You're familiar with Kurosaki-san, yes? He told me I could find you here. So he's the one who sent you. Sorry, but my schedule is full today, and tomorrow, and the next day, and forever. I want nothing to do with either of you. Oh, that's cold. Frosty, even. I thought you'd be happy to help our journalist, especially after putting out nothing but nightlife sleazes. Hey, man, respect the craft. My interviews take long hours and hard work. Even if they do end on the happy note. Oh no, I was only trying to break the ice. I'm the sleaziest guy I know. Maybe I should have started with my background. See, I was also with the Wyverns for a time. You were? Yeah, I joined after you retired. Never made it off the farm though. Couldn't even last two years before calling it quits. So you'd be my senpai as far as I'm concerned. You're not showing much respect to senpai. Might I add that during my time with the Wyverns, I heard a lot of nasty things about you. You sign-stealing you sign cost us a lot of fans. Hmm. I'm sure you heard a mouthful, or earful, whatever. You see, our paper's doing a feature on baseball waning popularity. I figured I'd backtrack a bit and see where it started, and of course, I can't do that without you. Your sign stealing is what brought match fixing under public scrutiny. That debacle drove a lot of fans from the game itself. You really think that makes me want to talk to you, huh? Your sure knows how to pick him. 
Let me put it plainly as I can. You're not getting an interview, and I don't want to see your face ever again. Oh, come on. The statute of limitations has run out, hasn't it? Just admit you stole signs and get over with it. Now tell me, how much did you get for betraying the sport? Didn't you feel any remorse? The manager was in on it, wasn't he? That's the sort of juicy news our, our readers love. We'll pay good money for even tidbits you tell us, okay? Oh, so you're ignoring me now? Still hanging on to your tethered sense of pride. Alright then, why don't we settle this on the diamond? Say what? Come on, I was once a pitcher and a wyvern. If you can get past me, I'll give up on the interview. And rest assured, you'll never see me again. That's a negative. Win or lose, I have nothing to say to the press. Fine by me. You're not willing to give me the time of day anyhow. Besides, we're both former pros. pros. I think I can learn a lot from pitching against you than hearing you talk. You think you're that special, huh? Okay, say I do win. Will you really get gone for good? yippity do. I don't need to say it twice, do I? Five home runs. Here's the deal. I'm gonna throw ten pitches, make five of those home runs, and I'll be out of your life faster than you can swing. Ma take me out of the ball game. The ten pitches? You must be out of practice if that's all you can throw at me. Yeah, I've been retired for years, but for these ten throws, I'll be as good as I was back in my heyday. You can count on that. This is, uh, these guys are really something. Gonna write a sexy article about this one. <laughs> Asshole. I feel bad for Shinada because he's like uh, being uh, made out to be this asshole who um, stole a sign. I don't know what that actually means exactly. Oh crap. Oh, how the hell did that still count as a home run, though? I pressed the wrong button. He's actually... he throws kind of weird. He throws, like, right past the... Past the lines, so I do have to move up or down to like get him in my sweet zone, which is thank god gigantic. Okay, I'm gonna go grab What a thunk. Two former wyverns duking it out at a dinky little betting cage, both of us having descended Is into early newsmongers, no less. Seppi! At least people care about my news. Now, will you quit pestering me? Yeah, I suppose that was the deal. Fine. Consider me a stranger. Oh, but first, I guess I owe you an interview for you. What's this for? I gave you no such interview. You're right, you gave me something better. I can clearly see your betting hasn't run away. You still have what it takes to be in the pros. Even after all these years, you still kept practicing your swing, in spite of your permanent ban. That's some dedication. You practice in hopes of making a comeback someday. You wouldn't bother to do that unless you were truly innocent. And because you know that in your heart, you have the resolve to press on. You're convinced to your innocence will be proven one day. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did you say your name was Asada? I'd say you have more talent with a pen than a ball. That's quite a comp compelling narrative. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. But it doesn't make me happy one bit. <laughs> no, I'm sure it doesn't. And why I say it. You're a cruel man, Shinada. Is that him? The one and only Yordi Schmording Thingaling? Yep. Yep, yep, that's me. The one and only. We're having a long day today, Sep. Where I'm gonna be uh, ordering food, chilling, and working on a platinum that's trying to kick my ass across the field. What the hell is going on? Why can't anyone keep a grudge against this jackass? Kurosaki, why are you still holding on to yours? 
Sorry to disappoint, but I write for a small gossip paper. Our readers are hardly sophisticated enough to understand the tear-jerking redemption of a fallen hero. Still, you did provide me with a lead. I'd be happy to spot you for a coffee break, at least. What was that? Now if you excuse me, Kurosaki-san. I hope you'll give my readers something they can actually chew on next time. Shithead. Welp, I'm out of here, too. I'm sick of you creeping up on me. Oh, and Kurosaki, wise up, man. You can't be pulling people's strings forever. It's gonna snap right back at you. Mind your own goddamn business. If only you knew. So how is Seppi today? need to talk. Hey, Shinoda. Hmm? Oh, just Kurosaki again. What a surprise. What are you scheming this time? Quiet your yapping and come with me. Yeah, no thanks. Why would I do that? I got enough problems already. <laughs> so are you a coward then? Don't worry, I won't lay a finger on you, I swear. Yeah? What are you planning? Come with me, you'll see for yourself. Alright, might as well see what he wants. At least for all time's sake. Seppi has his chill day today. I might buy a new game. Ooh, what game are you going to be buying, bro? Ooh, Warhammer 3 Total War. That sounds like a typical sub game. Real-time strategy, I think, right? RTS? Brings back memories, don't it? Of course. I always had... I was always a backup in high school and never got to pitch a game. That's right, you were a pitcher too. When it came to raw power, I thought you had class even Shirakawa, and he was the best of the best. But high school ball is all about winning tournaments. No coach would really pick a pitcher who would melt down on walks. It didn't matter how hard I threw, the pitchers who got to play were guys like Shirakawa. Guys with good control. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I have some RPGs to play though, so I'm battling my thoughts. Honestly, I really want to play through, I want to finish Yakuza 5 so badly because uh, Wo Long Fallen Dynasty came out like yesterday and I really want to play it. Or two days ago actually. In the summer of our senior year, when we finally made it to Kozian, our team got a lot of attention. You especially, since you batted clean up. I had to watch you guys in spotlight from the shadows right nearby. It made it all more pathetic being so close to the light. I had to cheer for you guys on the field in a game I wouldn't get to play, up in the stands with everyone else in faraway Kojin. Did I go through all that tough training just so I could make you guys look good? That was always gnawing at my soul. After spending my teens in sweat and grime, I ended up with nothing. Take your time, Seb. After spending my teens in uh, sweat and grime, I ended up with nothing. It didn't take long for me to hate baseball. I felt like I wasted my youth. What are you trying to say, Kurosaki? Are you blaming us for the way your life turned out? Let's see if my controller is filled enough that I can not have to be plugged in. Get in the batter box, you know that. My pitching against your batting. That's how we'll settle the score. What are you trying to prove? That we're not so different, you and I. Whatever happened in the past, be damned. I'm not the only one to be ruined by baseball. You got tarred and fettered by the pros. You should loathe baseball just as much as I do. Speak for yourself. Oh, right. You're the one in the spotlight shadow now. You might be desperate to forget that, but I'll make you remember. Fine. I'll show you we're nothing alike. Get five hits, that's all? I don't even need to hit home runs? Ten pitches, five hits. From the top of the big leagues to bottom feeding titty mags, you certainly fell from grace, Shinada. Got the chatter and pitch, Kurosaki. This is the last time I'm putting up with you. Fireball! <laughs> oh, Muron! Not the 
Literally, I just have to press the right button, and I can hit home runs. That is super chill. You still got it, Shinada. I lost fair and square. You won't be seeing me again, either. I'm skipping town. Well, why? To be honest, my broker business was screwed for a long time. It's like everything else for me. It all turns to shit. Worse yet, I got too aggressive and ended up drawing attention from some Yakuza. So I have to disappear before they do it for me. Well, you brought this on yourself. Don't look at me for sympathy. I know that. I was planning to get out of the business anyway. You just moved the timing up a little, so... Hey, Kurosaki, why didn't you cut and run already? Why bother coming to me for this? So I can finally be rid of baseball for good. I despised it all this time. I wanted to be done with it properly, that's all. Quit lying, man. Lying? You lost me there. Look, no one who hates baseball could ever pitch like that. Even after high school, you kept working on your throat, didn't you? Why would you lie to yourself just to hide the pain? It's only get It only gets worse that way. Maybe you have a point. Take this for your trouble. Aw, poor Kurosaki. Look after Shirakawa, will you? He's just like me, stuck in the past, unable to move on with his life. Yeah, I know. Looks like our team was full of problem, kids. Give it up for old West Kamuro. <laughs> oh, Shirakawa. There's that score to settle, too. Actually feel kind of bad here. Level 17. There's room to increase the number of revolutions on machine reel. Uh, Seppi Pillar, Zilli. You don't even say hi to me? What the hell, Zillar? <laughs> Sepp is more important? There he is. Took you long enough. You can keep popping out of nowhere, don't you? You're not important, Yardy. Well, that feels so bad. My heart. I sure do. Now, today to settle the score, follow me. Can you really replicate Ak Akamatsu's pitching? Though, have you consulted with your shoulder first? Stop with the shoulder talk and come with me. All right, we'll talk when we're there. Fine, have it your way. I mean, Jordy. Zillar is holding on to a grudge, and I don't know what grudge. This is very confusing. What does do? You had it out with Kurosaki here, didn't you? <laughs> he actually told you? He asked me to look after you, you know. <laughs> what could he possibly ask you to do? Atone for your 20-year-old crime for robbing me of baseball so you could satisfy your pride? Got a big yell with several explanation marks. Better now? True. And Seppi did not. He... Yeah, okay. Sure, I'm happy. <laughs> you won't listen to anything I say, will you? Until I hit an Akamatsu pitch. Though I doubt you can throw one in this state. Your shoulder's messed up, man. Blown, thorn, injured. How many ways must I say it? I admit my left shoulder will never be the same. But I still have my right shoulder. You're gonna throw right? What are you thinking? There's no way you'll beat me with an overnight uh, conversion. It's not an overnight conversion. I switched to throw right after I saw you hit that homer on the stolen sign. What? Ever since that game, I thought about when this day would come. I was determined to prove you betrayed me. I, But I gradually stopped training. I fu couldn't fully commit when I didn't know how or where or how to find you. When you beat me the first time, that lit a fire under my ass so I could replicate Akamatsu's pitching for one final duel. The stage is finally set. Think back, Shinada. Remember exactly how it was, the regional tournament final 20 years ago. Bottom of the ninth, a scoreless tie, two outs, runner on the second and third. On the mound is Akamatsu, the tournament's top pitcher. Walking with his eyes closed.
Get in the box, Shinoda. Get in the box, little bitch. Okay, just five homers. If you can't hit these pitches, you're done for uh, done for in my eyes. Unless you can prove me wrong, then I'll just do just that. Oh, you go Super Saiyan? Now we're talking, bitch. Itchy. Oh, that was uh, just a hit. Itchy. Oh, that was a foul. Screw ball. Press the wrong button. How the hell did that still hit a home run even though I pressed fucking circle? Okay, we're done. At least with the main missions. <laughs> of the side story. Tasty. Well, what now, Shirakawa? You convinced yet? Well, are you? Yeah, there's no two ways about it. Not after that, you're betting seriously something else. But I think I knew that a long time ago. I just couldn't force myself to admit it. What do you mean? When you, my former teammate, were accused of sign stealing, I thought you were a fraud. A fake, a dirty cheat, a wannabe pro grasping for fame he didn't deserve. When I thought of you like that, it made sense why you took that wild swing. You challenged Akamatsu just to earn more respect, and that selfishness robbed me of baseball. Those kinds of thoughts consumed me. My hatred for you kept growing, snowballing. But now I understand, you were the real thing too. A true professional player, not the kind of guy who put himself before the team. That homer you hit as a wyvern, you really didn't shit that you. Damn right I didn't. When it comes to baseball, I'm pure as a puppy. Not even a drop of ghoul in me. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to put it. Come on, man. Have some faith in your old teammate. Fate, now that's a word you don't hear much these days. But you know what? You're right. I guess I didn't trust my teammate back then. Not really. I left My left shoulder was shredded from overuse. But I never told anyone. Not the coach, and certainly not anyone from the team. I wasn't thinking about the future at all. The only thing that mattered was Koshin and earning our rights to be there. If I had stepped out of my shell and confined in someone, maybe my career would have gone differently. Actually, I knew about your shoulder, and you were trying to hide it. I never told anyone, though, because I knew how you felt. If I had an injury, I would have kept it secret, too. We all felt the same way back then. Getting to Koshin was everything. No one thought about what might happen next. I guess a better like you would have noticed something was off with my throwing. I get it now. I finally understand why you challenged Akamatsu. If we went into extra innings with the score nodded, you were afraid my damn shoulder would give out. Why does he look so beat up? Because he got beat up in a story sequence before I started all the doing all this side stuff. So that's why he looks so beat up. Probably like about if we head into the next chapter, he won't look so beat up anymore. <laughs> Like, he literally let people beat him up, even though he could probably kick their asses. That's what made you take that swing, so I wouldn't have to pitch anymore. Knowing full well, you'd take the blame if you blew it. Honest to goodness, that's a little too far back for me. Can't remember what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, no need to thank you then. Boy, am I glad I stopped myself in time. Come on, what's with the attitude? It's not like a thank you costs you anything. <laughs> Isn't it a bit late to drop the act? <laughs> so, Shirakawa, what are you gonna do now? I'm going back to Tokyo. I took all this time off and the guys at the office are probably swamped with work. You know, 
It feels like a huge weight's been lifted from my shoulders. For the first time, I can finally wake up in the morning with a renewed sense of purpose. That's great to hear. You take care, okay? Yeah. Sorry for being such an asshole, Shinda. That's a good story, though. Poor guys. Oh, one more thing? What? Thanks. For what? Everything. All of it. I really owe you one. Makes me feel good, this one. Try to stay in character, you. You got a mystery stone. End of the line. Okay! We're getting closer and closer. Is this the... Um, Saladan, not in the mood right now. Advanced course. I need to get thousand, a thousand meters. How many balls do I need? Uh, 20 pitches. That should be doable. If I hit it correctly, right? Distance of a thousand meter to clear. Boom. It's only 80. But it's still easily done. Just need to time it a little bit better. You're wondering, 18. Fastball, anyways, so it's fine. Wait, was that an 80 as well? Thinker. I literally don't have to move my cursor. Probably hit more meters if I did. So I really couldn't care less. Technically, let the other balls fly at this point. Would be faster, probably. The rest fly. It's fine like this. Next one is the mission course, and the mission course should not be this hard, seeing as it's uh, on uh, order. Hit a home run, avoid a beanball, hit a foul, hit a high speed pitch, hit a home run. <clears throat> and I just need to beat five missions on the mission thingy.
Okay, that's another one done. Okay, the Sawada course and the mission course. This is the mission course. Shouldn't be too hard. Hit a home run, avoid a bean ball, hit a foul, hit a high pitch speed, and hit a home run. Does that mean I have to hit it, or does that mean that I can actually hit a home run on it? But we'll see in a bit. Okay, that's a home run. George Beanball. George did. Now we need to hit a foul, so as soon as he moves, I need to press the button. That's a foul. Uh, hit a high speed. We're gonna go into... Uh, into heat eye for that one. Okay, now I just need to hit a home run. We get one more. Hit the Penty Flasher 12. <laughs> okay, we'll hit the Penty Flasher 12. Okay. Now we're done. Got six missions. Only needs to complete five. Under 410 points. Okay, that's it. Is that everything we could have done right now? Uh, that we can do right now? I need more money, that's one thing. Oh. Got two Shinada side story complete. Igarasi, new batting gear. In the pawn shop. I don't really need better batting gear though, do I? Uh, let me go and have a look at what the reward is. This is the last character anyways, so we're going into the final soon. Oh, I didn't mean to run into uh, an enemy, sorry. Uh, let's see. Except gifts. Dragon Tail. Nice. Let's see. Revelation is done. I am going to find Shion. 
beforehand so that we can just go to her instead of that we have to walk to her first later when we have a little bit more money. Seems like a good thing. We can also still do a few of the catching UFO catcher things. I want to go to a cabaret club. Well, I haven't been to a cabaret club in a while. What's good nowadays? Oh, Club Eden is where it's at, hands down. The one over at Kumano Boulevard? I haven't been there in a while. I can't imagine the place is so gorgeous. I'm not sure you're really suited for it. Let's head over. You know you can't put this on the tab, right? That's fine, honest. Okay, okay, I'll check with the club now. Give me a moment. Everyone knows this guy. Everyone knows. <laughs> hey, this is Takagi from Mainavi. Yes, well, I have a guest here who would like to stop by. Is now a good time? All right, thank you very much. All right, if you please follow me. Cabaret Club, that's not your usual go to place, you know, son. Sex business is just my job, this is personal. Yeah, all right, just don't fall for a hostess and go even deeper in de into depth, okay, please? Ha, <laughs> do I look like a uh, would-be sugar daddy to you? I don't like girls who are pushy like that anyhow. So, don't you worry about me. Well, I suppose not. I figured that Xiong Chan is more of your type anyway. Chan, huh? What's she like? Oh, don't you know her? No, obviously. Tell me! Xiong Chan is amazing. She's gorgeous, refined, and elegant. An honest to goodness Nagoya princess. Oh, tell me more. Her blood type's O. She's a Geminin, age 24. What kind of stuff does she like? Hey, you said you weren't gonna be her sugar daddy. Calm down, man. I'm just asking what she's interested in, uh-huh. Well, she's really upper crust, so if you get her a gift that is too common, it may backfire and make her angry. Oh, shit. I bet. What else? She's rather short-tempered and says the wrong thing will set her off. If you think she's mad, you better change the subject quick. Alright. Gotta make sure to not get her angry. Nice. <clears throat> All right, here we are. Hope you have a good time. All right, let's do this. I might have enough money to actually do this, but I don't want to risk it. Hello, welcome to Club Eden. Our establishment has 84 million blah blah blue. It's not a million, Jordi. That's only a thousand. Holy shit! Mind if I get your business card? Not at all. Here you are. You got a business card. May I have your name? You know the sun. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. She is definitely fucking high class. The pleasure is all mine, beautiful. <laughs> What would you like? Let's go for a gacha drink. That seems to do good always. Oh, you'd like to try your luck? Very well. That's only 10k each uh, entry. You lose like about 30k each entry in total. I wonder what you'll get. Fingers crossed. Unless you fuck up, obviously, but that's not the plan. Italian woman's watch. Um, you have terrific luck, you know the sun. I bet you can win something even better. There's better than this? Alright, I'll keep trying until I win them all. <laughs> nice, that's typical Shinada. Did you work today, Shinada san? Yeah. Nah, there was a lot of other stuff going on. I'm here! Welcome back, Sep! Do you not know what I do for a living, Shino chan? I don't know. Oh, good. Uh, I mean, I usually work around here, so I'm recognized by a lot of people. Really? Then I apologize for not having noticed before. <laughs> no, it's fine. That makes it easier for me, actually. So, what do you do for a living? I'm a nightlife journalist. I write articles for both print magazines and online. Nightlife? So you go to those sort of sash establishments and partake their services. Yeah, I write articles based on their experience provided to me by the girls. That's really what you do for work? I had no idea. Would you be able to tell me anything more about it? 
You're sure interested in weird things, Xiongchan. Let's save that discussion for another time. By the way, where are you from, Xiongchan? I'm from Nagoya. I wouldn't have guessed. You don't have an accent, so I assumed you were from somewhere else. I try not to speak the Nagoya, Nagoya dialect. I don't like it very much. I guess it does sound sort of rough. Yes, that's why I make it a point to speak it as little as possible. Um, don't worry about it so much. People from Nagoya speak with a certain warmth I like. Really? It doesn't sound harsh to you? Like everyone is always angry? Not at all. Yeah. Even if it does sound harsh at times, I know they're not mad at me. They're just really passionate about what they're saying is all. They wear their hearts on their sleeves, so I like them better than people in Tokyo. But I'm there. Sometimes I can't figure out what they're thinking. I much prefer being forthright than hiding my intentions behind a vial of politeness. See? It's what I like about Nagoya. So I think it's fine if you relax and speak Nagoya dialect throughout Mishimichan. Still, I'm rather shy about it. <laughs> You're cute when you blush. Okay, let's do something. Ask a question. What should we ask? Her likes. Tell me about the things you like, Xion Chum. What sort of things you mean? Food. What kind of food do you like? I'm extremely fond of sweets. What kind of sweets? Let me think. I think Savarin cake, for example. What's that? It's a cake based on a broche dough that's baked and then soaked in simple syrup and rum. It's garnished with fruits and whipped cream. It does sound pretty sweet. Bet you'd get a heartburn from eating too much. Also, since it's full of liquor, eating too much can also get you drunk. Drunk time! Sounds like an adult-only kind of dessert. If I ever find one, I'll have to try it. Are you married, Shinada-san? Flirty topics. Yeah. No, not yet. Why not? Is there any particular reason? Hmm, why not, you ask? Do you have someone you want to marry, but can't? Or is it because you don't have enough money? I don't have anyone. We don't have anyone. If there was someone I'd consider marrying, I'd already be married. Then you would like to get married someday. I want to be happy just as much as the next guy. If someone likes me for who I am, I'd marry her for sure. Oh, how passionate of you. Still, it's not good to rush into marriage. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, but I've never been one to think stuff through. Well, I've been starting to think about getting married. I need to find the right man, though. Lovers wanted, huh? I suppose you could call it that. But rather than waiting for a man to voice interest, I feel like I should be the one to on the lookout. Well, I certainly don't want to date a man who is none of my caliber. Uh, caliber... Just don't rush it. You never know when you might meet that special someone. I'm sure the right guy will show up eventually. But if I keep waiting, eventually I'll wind up an old maid. <laughs> so what? Old people can find love too. Maybe you'll find a nice man when you're that age. Someone to spend your pleasant twilight years with. <laughs> oh my, that would be lovely. Still, I'd rather find someone I get along with enough to marry while I'm still young. Yeah, I suppose so. But when you marry young, there's a higher chance of it failing. Uh, that's absolute bullshit. What I'm saying, there's just a high enough chance of it failing when you're older, but you get my point, I guess. <clears throat> you're leaving already? Yeah. Check, please. 
Shinada san, please do come again to see me. Of course, I'll ask for you next time. Am I really? Then I'll be waiting for you. Ara, ara. Steven from Club Eden, I really appreciate you coming earlier. You're an excellent conversation in the list. It's, I would be honored if you would stop by for another conversation at some point. I'll make sure to become a regular. Okay, uh, at this point, what else is there left for me to do? Let me actually empty my bags a little bit. This Uh, not this one. That one, yeah. Let's see, we got karaoke can, club say Ah, oh, yeah, that was what I was gonna do after I empty my bags. So we're gonna go grab the last items I need for um, the Sega machine thingy. That is at least the last thing that we can do right now pretty easily. Um, this one goes, this, oh, wait. I'm gonna sell a bunch of shit. Victory Road de Qualifier. Muchka. I stabbeth thy in the gut. Okay, I do need to... Um, this is only later once we hit Kamarucho, which is still fairly far away. Uh, UFO catcher. Let's see. Anything left to grab? Completion lists. Mini game. Still need to do two karaoke's. Those are with Haruka though. UFO catcher. Three left. And those three are underneath Mobo figure. Kamarucho, Kamarucho, Kamarucho. Okay, we're done here as well. Well, it saves me money at least. Like at this point, it doesn't. After we hit the final, we will have plenty of money because all the money funds are combined. We can do gambling as well. Um, let's fight this guy. Gungumba. Actually, change my knife to the sturdy pipe real quick. Oh, I already had sturdy pipe on. Oh, it was name sturdy pole. Run between two or three enemies for the swords. Don't stop beating. We don't have that one yet. Oh. The ability that I was thinking of doing, I don't have yet either. Okay, we can do this one though. Right? Oh. Yeah. Nice. 
talk about an epic move, yo. Hey, bronze plate. That's uh, some money's worth, I guess. I might, like, during dinner, let my chicken run a few times just to get some more money. Nice, we can actually finish this one. That's one restaurant down. Hey, price ticket. Once we hit 10, we're also gonna do that. Safe's coming for the item. Uh, that's it. That's pretty much everything I can do. I just need to sell some of the stuff that I gained through the site mission. Oh, chill, Mate. No. there anyways. This way we can uh, start working on other restaurants as well without having to spend money. It's right in the nats there, bro. We never have enough money in this game. Especially the last two characters were kinda... ...ass when it comes to money. I'm pretty sure I did all the river fishing. Yeah. No, nothing to worry about. Did I end up... Uh, no, we did check the thing. Uh, said nothing. Onisan! I'm gonna sell this one, this one. Sell that. Sell this. Get rid of the that. Utility knife we keep. Sacred wood we need to keep. Mystery stone, Ilala figure, everything. Deep tree branches, dragon figurine, dragon tail, gambler amulets, Italian woman's watch. That's what we just obtained, and the Italian scarf. Get rid of all the fucking tissues. Who the fuck needs tissues? Puts us to 442. Okay, that's it. Time for uh, main quest a little bit until we reach a point where I can do something that wasn't doable before.
What is this place? Oh, I know this place. I need to buy one of each of these things. I did not know that beforehand, actually. I forgot about it. <laughs> For a different side quest that is has nothing to do with completion, but just because I'm uh, like that. Might as well clean it up. ちゃん。何だったんその傷。ラムトゥヨーフェイス。別に大したことないよ。なんかあったの見るちゃん。忘れちゃいたい過去ってある。そりゃこんな仕事しとるとね。覚えとりたいことの方が少ないがね。I have a hard time finding things I want to remember. 別の自分になってやり直したいって思う時あるわ。俺もそう思ってこの町で生きるようになってもう15年。懐かしいがね。たっちゃんが初めてこの。懐かしいがね。たっちゃんが初めてこの町で生きるようになってもう15年。懐か
And then when you get when you get like the main story parts, you can see like what's biting at his ass. Such a good game. Every single one of these characters are so well written. Oh hey, Shina the Sun, did you get my message? Well you're in luck. You got the last one. Here's the stuff. You get stamina royale. Whoa. What happened to your face? Did you get into a fight? Uh, kinda sorta. Looked like you had but the beehive. Bet that stinks. Well, I should get going. Stay out of trouble now. Well, I'll get what I came for. Now it's called a night. What is this monk doing here? Dude, what's with the freaking clothes and those eyebrows? You look like a ghost of an old lady. For real, this clown probably got lost in his way to the circus. <laughs> Silence, peasant! I have have a mind to banish your ignorant buffoons on the spot. Now be gone, you blustering eyesores. The fuck? Were you just talking back at us? Oh, I'm steamed, man. Oh, you steamed him good. Steamed him like a steamed clam. You shouldn't have done that, dude. Now he's gonna make you pay. Is that supposed to be a shakedown? What is this world coming to? Gotta admit, the guy looks weird, though. <laughs> huh? Hey, I dare you to say that shit again, whatever the hell it was. I rightfully addressed your ignorant peasants as such. Twas a mirror statement of fact. Okay, I've heard enough out of this apron wear lunatic. Let's kick his ass. Hmm. What a pity, bestowed by lower nature as commoners, two ruffians cross my path. Uh, let me reply to my mom. <clears throat> cross my path and bark their empty threats. Alas, I am forced to demonstrate my elegance at... Hmm? Oh dear, oh my, did I perhaps drop it during my travels? What's the matter, your elegance? Go running off somewhere? Probably the same place you left your fashion sense. Ah, you see, I seem to have forgotten my ornaments, which, needless to say, are important. They were. Blow it out your ass, Grandma. You can't just weasel your way out of a confrontation after dunking on our intelligence. Now, now, I assure you, I am no Grandma. I advise you to stay thy tongue, lest you expose even more of your plebeian dimness of wit. You're still insulting us? That's it, you're definitely getting an ass-kicking. Final decision. Oof. Don't want to get caught up in this mess. Methinks it's time to shuffle on out of here. Halt! Halt, I say! Uh, pardon, you there. Improv improverized looking fellow. Who, me? Yes, you. Look, this is your chance to make a name for yourself. Make a name for myself? What are you talking about? Oh, for goodness sake, just come and help me. Who the hell are you? You with this nut job? Whoa, 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 keep me out of this. I'm just a peaceful, ordinary citizen who happened to walk by. You hear that? Says he's not interested. Oh, he's just playing coy. But in fact, he's my loyal minion. Hey, I'm not a minion. Ah, screw it, I don't give a crap either. Wait, I'm gonna kick your ass first. Huh? Please tell me you're kidding. Nope, gonna kick your ass. Here it comes. <laughs> gonna kick your ass. This dude's a beast. Are we done? Because I really would like to get going here. Screw you, man! Dude, let's just get out of here. So let's go already. My, my, nicely done. I suppose that does merit a certain measure of praise. Praise? What happened to you jumping in and helping? Instead, you enjoyed the ringside view. Naturally, that sort of dirty ma manual <laughs> labor is and should be re relegated to the lower classes. Surely you don't expect... The nobility to sh silly their pristine hands. The only thing remotely noble about you is your Hayan-era costume. You some kind of comedian? I am not 
I'm nothing of the sort, and do not address me with the proper honorifics, your written squadly vermin. For I am glorious and most venerable Leo Ayano Koji. It is written with the kanji of lion, to be sure, but it's pronounced Leo. I wager you're, I wager you're impressed. Let's get this straight. You really think you're a nobleman, and your name is, what, Leo the Lion? Dude, are you for real right now? Don't you dare laugh at me! I am a descendant of the gods, and I'll have you know my father is a chairman of the Neighborhood Association. I'd like to see you top that. Oh man, chuckle. How are you keeping a straight face this whole time? <laughs> Did I actually say chuckle? <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> have you even looked at yourself in the mirror? Huh, insolent and churlish. I'm utterly appalled. A feeble-minded peasant mocking one so great as I. Okay, okay, calm down. Listen, how old are you? I shall be 35 this revolution round the sun. You're 35 and this is what you do? Are you married? Wait, don't answer that. Of course you're not. If I were a lady, I'd run the other way at first sight. Hm. I simply haven't deigned to take a lover yet. When you bear the status that I do, women will throw themselves at your feet. So I can choose a wife whenever I wish. Uh, I get it. Something traumatized you a long time ago, and you completely lost your marbles. Why didn't I realize that sooner? Well, that's my cue to exit. Bye now. Come now. Won't you hear me out? What is it you want? I'd really rather not be seen with you. Have you forgotten my royal lineage? We noblemen have a rich tradition of bestowing favors and a feudal position according to the exploits of our loyal foot soldiers. Huh? Wasn't that the samurai? I'm no historian buff, but I can't really picture the nobility having done much of anything for people. Seize this slander at once! Why must you lip off that way? I'm saying I will repay my debt, so shut up and accept my generosity, you insect! Whoa. You're off the rails, man. Huh. Given that early spec a spectacle, you probably think of me as a coward, don't you? Yep, sure do. Well, there is far more to me than meets the untrained eye, for I am a weapons master, a living instrument of warfare. You can use weapons. Precisely. When it comes to instruments of war, I am proficient at any kind. It just so happens I had none on my person. And how is this related to anything? I'm saying I will accept you as my apprentice for weapon training. Weapons training. You should be on your hands and knees in gratitude. Uh-huh. Don't be so numpost, you oafish boar. Listen here, I'm usually around the TV tower making my rounds. I will allow you to come accept my teachings. And that's the next option that we're gonna do, which is right now. Maybe I'll... Sh yes, yes, thank you for your questionable guidance. Maybe I'll show once I have some extra time. Then make the time, you bumbling, baseborn brute. Ha! You'll sing a different tune once you feast your wits on the wisdom I have to offer. Just be sure to appear at some point in the near future, understood? Uh, later. Apparently, not now. What the heck was his deal? Anyway, he mentioned he'd be at the TV tower. I could always visit, if I really have nothing better to do. <clears throat> Oh, he's there already. Let's just, uh... No, you know what? We're gonna go right now. Seems like a plan. Food stalls. This... Let me have a look. All three are... these. This one is done. We got this one. This one close by... Got this one. This one is the closest by to him. This one is already done. And then we got the booze bar. I'm still kind of drunk, and almost every restaurant in this city has, like, alcohol to serve as well, which is kind of annoying. Uh, batting. These are the psych missions, main missions. We've done this, so I can get rid of this one. Let's see, what is his name again? Dendo Ayako Noji. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Just walk past him like you. it's no good. There you are, peasant. You might not call me that. The name's Tatsuo Shinoda, just in case you're interested. Suo Shinoda, this a peasant name by my noble reckoning. Well, I admit it's pretty average compared to yours. That you present yourself to me can mean only one thing. You wish to take lessons from me? Well, yeah. I thought I might check it out, but are your lessons really all that? <laughs> ha. Hearken to me, Shinada. You cannot judge me based on what you are beheld. The skills I shall teach you are more precious than in life itself. Of course, there is matter of feudal service. I shan't lift a finger to help those who do not serve me. Maybe you forgot, but I saved you from those street punks. And that is why I deign you to take, to take you as my student. And so the debt is paid, seriously. For a guy who talks about nobility, you seem awfully stingy. You serve me once, and I shall repay you in kind. Once, I must keep things fair for my other vessels, after all. Okay, so what does the guy have to do to get some training around here? Anything's fine. I'm sure you can think of something, despite your adult peasant brain. Adult peasant brain. You could at least narrow it down a bit. Okay, let me think. I'm pretty broke, so anything to do with money is out of the question. Oh, I know. Very well, speak. Man, could you be any more of an ass? Anyway, I've got some advice I can give you. Mm. You? Advise me? Don't be ridiculous. I don't take advice from peasants. Besides, my considerable prosperity could hardly be bolstered by your input. So you say it. But you want a girlfriend, don't you? No, I do not. Oh, come on. It's just between the two of us. You really want one, right? Well... Y yes, and Mother has been pestering me about getting married, so perhaps. <laughs> See, I knew it. Just relax and trust me, and I'll set you up. Hmm. Somehow I feel as though you have tricked me into revealing this. You told me the truth, Leo Kun. That was the right thing to do. <coughs> do not press your luck, you lowly of birth. You of lowly birth, but very well. I shall acquaintance, but you must make yourself useful in your faithful service to me. There will be no lesson until I'm utterly satisfied. Oh, you will be, especially considering the bar is so low. What was that? You think to mock me? Of course not. Now, will you relax already? <laughs> Fine, I'll take you at your word. Great. So the deal is, you give me a lesson if you like the advice I give you. Very well, I'm counting on you, Shinoda. Do not disappoint me. Ah, uh, there you are. What do you want? Let's talk about life. Okay, I'll give you some advice about life. Must you be so immodest about it? Ugh, go on. Before I help you get a girlfriend, I need to know all about you. I'm going to ask a few questions. All you have to do is answer. Very well, go on. Okay, let me ask you this. Have you ever had a girlfriend before? You already know the answer, but I suppose you want to hear me say it. No, I haven't. I see. Okay. How about a one-night stand or something like that? An art, uh, an aristocrat such as I would never commit such an abhorrent act. I wouldn't even hold hands with them so unless we were at least dating. Jeez, this guy's more naive than I thought. Okay, let me ask you this. What type of girls do you like? <laughs> what type of girls do you like, Liu Kun? A girl suited to my aristocratic qualities, she must also be from a family of some standing. Finally, she must be equally parts intelligence and comely. Never met a girl like that before, or maybe I've been looking in the wrong places. Okay, let me ask this. What's a relationship deal breaker for you? <laughs> Speaking to any man other than me, naturally, it would be utterly inexcusable. Isn't that a pretty high bar to set? 
Ah, uh, such an ignorant peasant. You obviously don't understand the importance of protecting my noble lineage. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. I don't know if I... if any advice is going to help. I see. All right, Leo Kuhn. From what you've told me, we're going to need to change the way you think a lot. Ha! You think your impaired peasant mind could hope to change how I think? Don't make me laugh. Based on what I've heard so far, I should... Take him to the red light district. That sounds like the best idea. All right, I know. No, there's no way I'm going to persuade you with words mm -hmm. alone. Finally, some wisdom. I commend you for knowing your place, but you aren't going to give up that easily, aren't you? That's not what I meant. Get ready, Leo Kun, because I'm going to show you how to be a man in more ways than one. What? What? Nandato! What is this place? What is this? One of my favorite places. I reserved the most popular girl for you. What is the meaning of this? I couldn't possibly enter such an establishment. Oh, I should also mention there are some pretty scary types running the joint, and they don't take kindly to sudden cancellations. Shinada! What have you done? Ayakonoji! Zones! What are you doing? Don't be so uptight. But why do I have to... Ayanakoji! Fine, fine, I'll go. <laughs> All done. So, how was it? How shall I shall explain it. Many things don't seem as important anymore. Nice. I'd call that a breakthrough. What was that supposed to mean? Admit it, you had a good time. Don't change the subject! You had a good time, right? Y yes. And you learned it's okay not to set the bar so high? Yes. And there it is. Nice job, Leo Kun. You're on the stairway to manhood. Am I? Uh, I mean, I am, I suppose. Yes! Haha, <laughs> now you owe me one. Ah, fine. Yes, I owe you one. Sweet. I'm going to hold you to your word. Now let's see. Maybe I'll have you buy me a TV. No, wait. How about a car? Then again, cash show is king. <laughs> what? What are you babbling about? You said you wanted some training. Oh, right. I'm going to beat some good lessons into you. So you better be prepare better prepare yourself. Whoa, I don't like the sound of that. But okay, I'll be back when I'm ready. Or they're literally making me walk all the way back. I just realized that the quest line is called Path to Manhood for the training. <laughs> and it's fucking hilarious. And it also now makes sense why it's called the Path to Manhood. <laughs> Nameless Katana. Oh yeah, Lele. Oosh. Oosh. Ah, oh, there you are. What do you want? Train me. Drift mastery. Very well, but we need must need change. We but we must need change locales. I, I feel like that sentence was not correct. So what shall we do? What aren't you supposed to decide that? But I know nothing about you. How do you expect me to impart my science onto you? Temper, temper, Leo Kun. Fine. Let us begin with the contest. I'm quite skilled with weapons, so I'll be armed. You can fight barehanded or with a weapon. I'll allow you to do whatever you like. 
But I don't expect a reimbursement if you wear out a weapon battling me. Any repairs that might be required are coming out of your pocket. The actions are unavailable. All right, let's get started. Are you sure you are prepared? Let's go. As ready as I'll ever be, let's go. Very well, then let the contest begin! <laughs> Leo Ayano Koji Han. He actually countered me. Impressive. Ouch! Learn to pull your punches during our lessons, you brute. What? You told me to do whatever I wanted? Fool! Is your cranium truly empty? What kind of vessel strikes his lord with all his strength? Wait, when did it go from student to vessel? Shinada, you must learn to show respect to those above your station. I don't know why I expect anything better of you, though. And you need to stop being such a ass face, Leo Kuhn. <laughs> but fine. I apologize profusely for the accident of my birth. <laughs> Happy? What? That is no apology. Ah, never mind. I grow tired of this farce. At least I know what you're capable of. You're stronger than I thought. Oh yeah, thanks. Now then, Shinada, did you pick up anything in particular about my fighting style? Your fighting style? Hmm. What are you doing? Why are you training if you cannot be bothered to pay attention? What have I told you about wasting my time? I am taking great care with each blow to ensure my weapons remain in pristine condition. There are ways to lower the stress upon your weapon no matter what technique you are using. Really? That's the first bit of master-like wisdom I've heard of you so far. Insolent fool! Show some respect! Relax, will you? It's just, I used to play pros baseball, so I get that it's important to treat your equipment properly. I'll try to keep that in mind. You learned Thrift Mastery. Now then, consider this payment for your service as my vessel. You'll have to do something else for me if you want another lesson. Never expect to learn anything like that. His feudal service thing is totally worth it. Ah, uh, the very model of a peasant. I see you do know your place after all. I look forward to what you come up with next. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Why am I, why am I actually doing the voice here? It's hilarious, but I don't know why I'm doing it. Okay, Trift Mastery. Weapon durability increased. That's actually pretty chill. Next! We haven't taken that much damage yet, so we're fine for the time being. <sighs> ah, there you are. What do you want? Let's talk about life. Advice time. Let's talk about your life. I shall have none of your reckless schemes this time, understand? I want to hear what you have in mind first. Oh, come on. Admit it. You actually liked it, right? I'll introduce you to another girl. And at a discounted price again, too. Really? Uh, I mean, you shan't pull the wall over my eyes so easily, Cretan. I am a noble, an aristocrat. We of such high birth rarely, if ever, go to such vulgar establishments. That's not true whatsoever, but... 
sure. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're an aristocrat, and while we're on the subject, is that bizarre makeup you attempt to look like one? You are implying I am a fraud. I'll have you know that this makeup is what every proper noble wears. <laughs> but Leo-kun, come on. No one's going to take you seriously if you look like that. Fee! I wouldn't expect a peasant like you to understand the splendor of my appearance. <laughs> it has nothing to do with me being a peasant. Now, I have a few questions if you don't mind. You may present your inquiries, but not. You can say, shall make me remove my makeup. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you think that makeup looks cool? Do you honestly think you look cool like that? This splendid makeup is simply oozing with elegance. What better way to display my aristocracy? This isn't about elegance or aristocracy. It's about looking good. You know, like a stud, a ladies' man. Well, I must concede that the aristocratic ideal likely differs from the modern-day commoner conception of good looks. Hmm, okay. So not even he thinks he looks good in the modern sense. Okay, let me ask you this. Are you wearing that because you like it? Are you wearing that because you like it, or are your parents forcing you? No, my parents dress in modern clothes. I'll buy today, don't feel as aristocratic as I do. So you choose this style because it makes you look like an aristocrat? Indeed. My noble spirit cries out for such elegance. So there's no need... So there be no need for him to look like this if he can get his head straight on. A head on straight. Something like that. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you even care what girls think about you? Do you even care what girls think about you? I mean, normal people don't dress like that. I don't care what you peasants think, and I am far superior to your conception of normal in any case. I have no use for anyone who can't understand that. Do you think there's anyone who thinks you look cool like that? Few indeed, but that is not my concern. Only those who understand my sublime fashion sense matter. <laughs> he knows he's not in the mainstream, but it doesn't seem like he's willing to change. I think I get it now. You take pride in looking like that. <clears throat> Jesus. That should go without saying. I'm impressed that peons such as yourself is able to grasp that. Based on what I've heard so far. I should. Turn the tables on him! Okay, let's say the tables were turned, for example. Are there any female celebrities you have a thing for? You know, any you think are cute? Celebrity? Hmm. Well, I've been rather, take, uh, rather taken with Azusa-chan from T-Set as of late. An idol? Seriously? Oh, never mind. Let's go with Azusa-chan then. Would you still like her if she put on Otafuku makeup? You know, the white face, red cheeks, narrow red lips, and eyebrows way up here. What? She would never wear that... Not even on a comedy show. We're talking hypothetically here. Just humor me. Well, I suppose putting makeup like that on her would mar her beauty. Exactly. And the same goes for you, Leo-kun. But my makeup is different. This is an expression of my aristocratacy qualities. That may be true to you, but that's not what other people think. They just see weird makeup. They don't see the good-looking guy underneath. It's just like if Asusa-chan would uh, wore... Otafuku makeup, you see? You're saying when people look at me, they don't see an aristocrat, just a buffoon in strange makeup. <gasps> yes, exactly. Now you understand? That's ludicrous, or... Or is it? Perhaps you're onto something. Is that why commoners always mock me? You bet it is. So you're ready for, make for a makeover, Leo-kun? You're gonna turn heads. People will be saying, hey, an aristocrat. But I already... Am a uh, hey an aristocrat though. Perhaps I should trust you. You're actually considering this? You had doubts of your own, didn't you? Of course I did. I'm not blind. I know that I am the only one dressed like this. I wish to broadcast my ar aristocrat. <sighs> that word is so hard. I've been saying it correctly this entire time. Now I'm having issues. Or ar aristocracy. <sighs> To the world, but I realize now that perhaps that is unwise. I shall give up my makeup. Great. 
My makeup is no more. Whoa, damn, Leo Kun. You're pretty handsome. Do not mock me, present. I'm not. I'm serious here. Super serious. Your dreams of having a girlfriend are just around the corner. Being told I'm handsome by another man does little to inspire me. Guys don't like saying stuff like that. So when they do, they really mean it. Anyway, I don't like you enough to lie to you about that. Well, you do have a point there. Okay. Now that we've seen that what's under the hood, we're good to go. That's not for you to decide. Still, I guess we can consider this done with. I could never have changed without your aid, and I suppose you have my gratitude for that. All right then, that concludes this round of feudal service. Fine, you have served me well, so return when you wish to continue your lessons. But ensure you are prepared. But ensure... Oh, all right, fine. So, what do you want to do? Mm, come on, not this again. It's like you don't even have a plan. Thankless peasants! You forget yourself. I'm giving you a choice, and yet you have the nerve to complain about it! Just thought you should have a program or something. You know, like, first we do this, and then that. This isn't some mindless course upon the internet. But I suppose it's beyond the witless peon like yourself to ascertain what you need to know. It's like going in circles with you. So, very irksome. Well, if you really want me to choose, how about a big flashy special move? I should have seen that coming. Commoners are always drawn to the garish ones. Enough with the snarky remarks. Do you have a special move or not? Of course I do. Okay, lay it on me. Listen well, Shinada. Grandiose moves like that don't simply happen. They evolve out of those you use with frequency. That means they must come to you naturally if you ever hope to master them. Hey, pal, you're supposed to be the master here, so don't sh shriek your teacher duties. I said not of the sort. I will teach you. And now you doubt me? I say that I will put you through training designed to allow new techniques to come to you naturally. Can you grasp that? Oh, that's what you meant. I'll take that as a yes. Just keep that in mind as you practice. All right, let's get started. Are you sure you are prepared? Yes. Let's go. Very well. Let the contest begin. Is, ever, is anyone getting sick of my voices yet? Actually, coming at me with a Tumpa this time. Nope, it's cool. <laughs> Appreciate it, Sep. <laughs> So did you decide what game you were going to play yet, Sep? RTS or RPG? I figured out the strategy. Slides, then smash. It just takes a shit long time. Slide! Slide, then smash. Ow. Slide, then smash. Ooh, he dodged. So much for my slide attack. You fool! That really hurt! Oops, sorry Leo-kun. But hey, I think I figured something out during that training. It doesn't work that way, you witless peasant. No, I'm serious. I think I'm really onto something. You learned my whirlwind essence. Did you really come up with that just now? 
I'll have to slice open that mushy brain of yours someday to see how it works. Whoa! I'm not letting you visect me, but I will commend you on another great lesson, Leo Kun. Do not make a mockery of my name. This a moniker of the. <laughs> This moniker that embodies pride, and one my mother and father bestowed upon me. You will refer to me as Master Ayakono Kiji. <laughs> Fucking names, bro. Like, sometimes I can't. Didn't mean any disrespect. It's just, I don't know Koji so long and kind of weird sounding. <laughs> Even for <laughs> fucking Japanese, bro. <laughs> Shinada, what the fuck, bro? I'll have you know that it is a noble and storied name. It certainly commands more respect than Tatsuo. Who would ever take someone's, someone named Tatsuo seriously? Fine, fine. Let's just forget this and move on. Do not think to act the bigger man. You will always be my inferior. <laughs> Listen. Listen, your lessons really ha are really helping me. I really do want to thank you, Leo Kun. Really? Well, all right then. Let us call it even, shall we? If you wish another lesson, you'll have to do something else for me. Got it. See you again soon. <laughs> this is a fucking game, bro. Ah, there you are. What do you want? Let's talk about life. Advice time. Let's talk about your life. I've already... <clears throat> I've already affected many of the changes you have mentioned, but I have yet to see results. These things take time. How old are you again, Leokun? As I've told you countless times, I am 35. Well, I'll need a little more patience out of you, considering all the quirks you've developed over the years. I can't fix them all at once. Quirks? What you consider to be quirks are mannerisms befitting a noble man such as myself. You certainly have no right to criticize me. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Now, what should we do this time? Hmm. We already got off the makeup, so I guess I should lose those clothes next. Nay, don't you want to change your look? This garb embodies my very soul, removing my makeup was trying enough. But now, will people know I am of noble birth without these clothes? If looking like an aristocrat is that important to you, then maybe it's a bit too soon to lose those clothes. Time for plan B. I'm going to ask you a few questions, just like before. Now then, can you talk to girls? Shinada-san, tasukete! I can't talk to girls! <laughs> You say you want a girlfriend, but are you even able to talk to girls? Is your skull truly that empty? Of course I am able to speak to women. I am speaking right now, am I not? Wait. What? That's not what I mean. <laughs> I, I don't think I get that sentence completely. I don't see you around girls that much. Maybe you were too nervous to talk to them. Oh, I see. Well, I can communicate with them well enough, but I must admit that I am not versed in making idle chatter. But the average wren <laughs> wench... The average wench would not be able to follow my aristocratic discourse anyway. Wench? Jeez. He's making excuses, but it looks like he knows he can talk to girls. Now then, what do you do all day? I sit here and watch idols online. <laughs> What do you do all day, Leo Kun? Clarify. You don't work, so you must have lots of free time during the week. What do you do to pass the time? On the contrary, I have no free time. I have plenty of responsibilities, such as watching TV, playing video games, taking walks, going shopping. In other words, all his free time all his time is free time. Must be nice to be that rich. Now then, ever considered getting a job? Have you ever considered getting a job? What an absolute ridiculous question. If you want if you want it for nothing, would you seek employment? Good point. Never mind. Exactly. At least at last something we can agree upon. But some people work even if they don't have to. 
they want to do something meaningful to contribute to society or something like that. Nobles have lived off tributes offered by commoners and vassals for centuries. We have no need to work for a living. Working for work's sake is a labor's virtue and nothing more. It holds no value to me. I'm not to talk, but man, this guy's rotten to the core. <laughs> <clears throat> Rotten to the core. Okay, so you're not the kind of guy who goes out and aggressively pursues love or career. That is simply how we aristocrats roll. To put it in your common vernacular, your peons comply with our every whim. Why would we even lift a finger? A finger, I tell you. Based on what I've heard so far, I should help him practice talking to girls. You have to get used to talking to girls, and that takes lots of practice. Practice, you say? But you don't strike me as a ladies' man, Shinada. I am unsure if I've even seen you talking to a woman. You're the one to talk, Leo Kuhn. Anyway, I've had my fair share of conversations with women. <laughs> anyway. Let's have you practice getting to know girls through conversation. The best way to learn is by doing, after all. Wait, do you intend to toss me into some vulgar establishment again? I've had enough of such dense of debauchery. <laughs> no, I wouldn't dream of it. Now, follow me. <clears throat> and here we are, go on in. But this hostess club, this was your plan? To just toss me in here. Relax, this place is real classy, so don't go calling it vulgar or whatever. Just stop whining already. Then you must accompany me. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have gone mixed up with the witless peasant. I no Koji! Zounds! Again with this? There are more, there are moments in your life that you have to face head on. This is one of them. No, I could just as easily walk the other way. Just watch me. I know Koji! <laughs> fine, fine, I'll go in. But, Shinada, you must join me. Now, how's that going to help you? I'm not going to be around when you meet the right woman. You're on your own here. Will you be joining us this evening, sir? Yeah, a table with your with for my aristocratic friend here. And send over your number one gal. I'm overcome with fear. Bye, have fun. <laughs> Shinada, I return. Hey there, you seem awfully chipper, Leo Kun. Yes, well, that was quite exhilarating. My hostess was truly number one, so beautiful and adept conversationalist, too. That's great. Just think. It's all thanks to me. What are you talking about? All you did was drop me off here. Oh, guess so. Still, that was grand. I've never had so, uh, had so deep a conversation with a woman I'd met only this very day. Well, it helps that she's a pro with conversation. I'm unsure what all that was about, the bottles and the like, but it was good fun nonetheless. Wait, how much did you end up spending? Oh, uh, about one million yen and then half again as much. What? But you were only there about an hour and a half, weren't you? I decided I ought to buy the costliest bottle they had. Alas, I drank only one glass and gave the rest to her. That's some serious coin. Man, I could kill myself right now for not going in with you. Well, Shinada, I can say again and with honesty that I am glad I heeded you despite all that transpired. Yeah, glad to hear it, I guess. Pay me a visit and I shall whip you into shape to use the vernacular of you common folk. That's great and all, but why do I feel like I lost? <laughs> ah, great, bro. I love this. This is, this is so great. The game does like very good serious storytelling and serious character development and everything, but the game does such a good job at like throwing you uh, for a loop with all the non-serious shenanigans. <clears throat> I mean, technically what we're doing is kind of serious, but it's tossed in such a way that it's like fun and 
very enjoyable, so to say. That's why I love the Yakuza games. That's why I've made it my goal to do my absolute best on getting better in these fucking ass mini games. <sighs> fucking ass mini games. <clears throat> well, that's another restaurant done. That's good to know. Mow down enemies with a long pow, only possible when climax eat gauge is full. <clears throat> Ah, there you are. What do you want? Trade me, bitch. Very well, but somewhere with fewer common eyes. This time I'll decide the content for your lesson. Whoa, really? Didn't see that coming. That's because you don't use the mush within your skull, you so brazenly call a brain witless peasant. Now, I shall put up an iron defense. I want you to figure out how to break through it, understand? Whoa, now that sounds like real training. That's because it is, you dolt. Everything I do is perfect when I deign to put my mind to it. Of course, an iron defense ensures I suffer the least amount of pain since you seem so incapable of pulling your punches. Oh yeah, how can I learn anything if I don't give my all? All right, let's get started. Are you sure you are prepared? Let's go. <clears throat> what is he using this time? A pole. Damn, bro. Nice and shiny outside today. I like it. Ouch, Knave! Don't you ever learn? Oh, someone needs anger management. Anyway, how is it my fault you failed to keep your guard up? What? Fee! Fee and a pox upon you! Just like a peasant, never taking responsibility. I could say the same thing about you, you know. But whatever, I think I get the hang of it. You learned my snapping turtle. You're forgetting this is a lesson and that I am your master. Show me your reverence I deserve. Oh, I'm very grateful. Oh, great exalted master Ayano Koji. I detect some sarcasm there. You can show your true gratitude by returning the favor. <clears throat> that means doing something for me again. Understand or shall I spell it out for your tiny lower class brain? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Receive, loud and clear. <laughs> <clears throat> La da 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 Grab onto your enemy and do not let go until you deliver numerous blows. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Ne Where? Oh, this nah, not the mood. Fuck you. So Ah, there you are. What do you want? 
Advice time. Let's talk about your life. Very well. Though I am loath to admit your service has proven to be effective. It has? Sweet. Told you I knew what I was talking about. Do not forget yourself. You are a witless peasant, now and forever. Oh, well, fine. Be grateful, however, for among my fellow aristocrats, I alone am exceptionally skilled at listening to opinions of your kind. Hmm, I feel like I should be annoyed at that. But I guess I'm getting used to it. You. So, what's next? I think I need a little background info first. Okay, let me ask you this. It's been a while since you got rid of your makeup. How things been? Well, my skin seems to shine with a luster hair to fall absent from my complexion. Uh, no, I meant how have people around you reacted? Have they reacted? The same as ever. Oh, wherefore, do you ask? And see, I see losing the makeup wasn't enough. This isn't going to be harder than I thought. Okay, let's ask this. Don't you want to try some new clothes? I already told you. No, do not make me repeat myself. What happened when you went to the host's club? Did your host say anything? Quoth she, I have... Quoth she, I have a look that is all my own. I took it as a compliment. Hmm, no. She was just trying to be nice. You probably freaked her right out the heck out. But, well, I suppose it's not impossible. You don't look too surprised. When first we met, it was as though her countenance was carved from stone. See? You totally freaked her out. Hmm. Perhaps it is beyond the ability of the peasantry to fathom my sublime fashion sense. Yes. I think I just planted the seed of doubt about his clothes. Okay, let's ask you about, is there anything you want to try? <clears throat> Let me ask you this, Leo Kun. Is there anything you want to try? Isn't it a little late to be asking me that now? As a noble, I can do anything I want. After all, I have money, time, and power. Your peasant perspective is far below mine, so I don't expect you to comprehend that. I must admit, however, that some things are better seen with one's face in the dirt. Hence why I allow you to continue to be my vessel. Hmm, whoa, sorry. Guess I'll have to choose. <clears throat> I've already tried a bunch of things, so I think it's time to go big or go home. Go big or go home. I can't phantom what brewing within the mush of your brain. What's, 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 guys, okay. But I like not, but I like not the sound of it. Based on what I've heard. Fashion sense. Do you want to try some new clones, Leo Kun? You are persistent, aren't you? Your clothes is what's holding you back. We won't get anywhere till you make some major fashion changes. I mean, who in the world would want to go on a date with someone dressed like you? Why, you insolent peon? How dare you ask me to... How dare you speak to me like that? Seriously, Leo Kun, I'll tell you uh, flat out. That outfit has to go. Either it goes or I go. What? Stop whining. Everything I've helped you achieve will be meaningless until you ditch the damn cosplay. Now follow me. C cosplay Wait! Shinada! <laughs> hey, Liukon, you got any money? More than you could hope to lay eyes on in your mundane life? Great. I want you to go in the store and ask them to pick out a complete outfit for you. A complete outfit? But if I let someone else choose, how can I ensure they give me clothing that agrees with my low noble complexion? Relax, anything they choose couldn't possibly be worse than what you're wearing now. Now shut up and get in there. Very well. I... I suppose I'll give it a try. <laughs> I mean, I get what Shinada is trying to say, but he could... Do it differently. Thank you for shopping with us. And there he is, the nobleman himself. I don't know about this. What do you think? You look great, Leokun, especially considering what you were wearing before. I'm unsure how to explain it, but I feel as though I am lacking something. Yeah, what you're lacking is the millennium old funk cling to that outfit of yours. Welcome to the modern world. So, Leokun, what do you think about your new look? I feel, hmm, how do I put this? I feel rather patri... 
Patrician, I don't think I pronounced that word correctly. Truly, this ensemble fits one of my my high birth. Mm, not sure I got all that, but I can tell you're happy. You look great. If I need your opinion, I'll ask for it. You're one of the sloppiest dressers I know. Well, that's just rude. I like the way I dress. <laughs> In any case, I never imagined I could look this good in normal clothes. I guess it pays to try new things. So I did good. This didn't have quite the impact as what you've done so far, but I suppose it still counts nonetheless. Yeah, I'm on the roll, baby. Now return when you are prepared to train. The new, more stylish Aya no Koji will grind your face into the dirt like the commoner you are. Okay, I'll be back. But let's forget about grinding faces into dirt, all right? <laughs> I don't know, man. I like grinding faces into the dirt because I'm cool like that. Ah, there you are. What do you want? Train me. Fine, peasant. I shall indulge you. But first, a change of scenery. I wonder if he changes into the wrist. No, he doesn't. So, have you decided what you wish to learn this time? You bet I have. Especially if it will save me time from listening to your snarky remarks again. Hmm. So, speak. How about we review what I've learned? Hmm? Sometimes you need to go back to the basics, right? So let's go over the first lesson you gave me. Hmm, yes, I suppose even you have a good idea sometimes. I know, right? Simpleton! Did you expect to be patted on the hat like a dog learning a new trick? What? Would you please try to use that pea brain of yours? I will concede that review... That reviewing what I've taught you is a valuable exercise, but you hardly need me to do that. Go review my lessons on your own. A single second of my time is worth more than your entire life. Whoa, no need to freak out like that. I'm just saying that reviewing is a big part of training, especially in sports. This is not sport, and I am not your coach. This is martial arts, and I am your lord and master. That is everything with you have to be such a hassle. Just help me review what I've learned so that I... <laughs> is that so much to ask? Ugh, how you vex me. Fine, I'll use this chance to take out my frustration upon you. That doesn't sound very master-like to you. To me. <laughs> God damn it. Prepare yourself, peasant. This may be a lesson review, but only the gods know what I have in store for you. The gods... Oh wait, that's Shinada. The gods actually care what you're thinking. How dare you, I demand satisfaction. Now prepare yourself. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> no, prepare yourself! <laughs> Leo Aya no Koji. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Not so GG, Jordan. I can spend some money again for our spend some money, get some uh, food things done oh. after this beat up. I don't take this anymore, I feel unwell. I guess that makes sense. What with the pummeling you took. And whose fault is that brute? Control yourself! Well, I'm glad we did that review. I got something out of it too. You did? Well, good, I suppose. What? You're getting all pouty now? Seriously? Silence! You will never understand the feeling of a noble brutalized at the hand of his vessel! It must be exhausting having to complain all the time. I just remember that to get what I want will need to buy DLC, and I'm like, that is a scam, I want to wait for a sale. <laughs> oh, poor Seppi. Know your place, peasant, or I shall put you in it. There you go, that's the Leo Kun I know. Can't wait to see where this goes. <laughs> Humph. Ah, there you are. What do you want? Let's talk about your life, man. Life. Man, I'm really starting to enjoy this. Calm yourself, peasant. Your enthusiasm is worthless without ideas to accompany it. Listen, leo -kun, I'm gonna give it to you straight. There is only one thing to do this late in the game. Practice, practice, practice. Wait, really? You're as prepared as you'll ever be, buddy. And it's time to hop out of the nest and spread your wings. Spread my wings? What crazy ideas have you come up with this time? Oh, nothing so crazy. Just pick up a girl. Just pick up a... Listen here, you! Stop right there. I know exactly what you're going to say, Lincoln. I want to meet a girl the right way, not by picking one up. That's very boorish, or something like that. Um, yes, such vulgar behavior is for peasants. I would feign not to begin any relationship under such a pretense. Leokun, that's the only way you're gonna get a relationship. What nonsense! You're already 35, right? 35 years without a girlfriend, Leokun. And your point is, you don't have the time for fairy tale romance, man. You've already waited your whole life. And you just gonna keep on waiting until a girl falls into your lap? That's ridiculous. I haven't been waiting since the moment I was born. You know what I mean. Besides, you'll never meet anyone if you keep sitting on your ass. You have to fight. You have to take what you want. You feel me? I don't know. What sounds almost cur That almost sounds criminal to me. Are you trying to get me arrested? Listen, Leokun. This is like gambling. You can't win if you don't play. And now that you've got that settled, let's get out there and pick up some chicks. I don't know what chicks, what chickens have to do with it, but very well. <laughs> that is such a fucking noble response. So what do I do? Hmm. What do you mean? Well, I've agreed to try, so now you must instruct me. Or have you forgotten that this is not something that one of my station usually participates in? Hmm, should have seen that coming. Hmm, what's the best way to flirt with a girl? Compliment her. Girls love a good compliments. I mean, who doesn't? Perhaps. But just how does one initiate such an encounter, and what should I compliment? 
Try her appearance or her voice. Anything fine as long as it makes her feel good about herself. Flattery is not my strong suit, but I shall endeavor to woo her nonetheless. Excuse me, fair maiden. You have a moment. Who? Me? Fair maiden, how might I describe thee? Thou art a silk upon a spring afternoon, soft and radiant and refreshing. What? I witnessed thee shining from over yonder, and it was then that I knew my entire life was but a dying flame next to thy blazing sun. I've laid eyes upon countless noble dames and damsels, but even their painted consonance cannot compare to the perfection of thy neutral complexion. I don't understand. Oh, um, well, you see, my papa is the chairman of the Neighborhood Association, so we often attend parties of noble nature. Ooh, so by noble you mean you are rich. Not everyone who attends is rich, but my family could certainly be considered wealthy. Behold, we have changed mobile phone numbers. Hmm, Leocon, Leocon, you only labeled her after you mentioned how rich you... <laughs> Not labeled your... You can't read for shit. Landed her. You only landed her after you mentioned how rich you are. Really? Well, she did seem to warm up to me in the middle of the conversation for some reason. Welcome to the real world, Leocon. Still, I'd say this is progress. I mean, with the way you used to look, even your money wouldn't have gone you so far. So all I have to do is send a text to her mobile number. Whoa, slow down there, cowboy. Take some time to think about what you're going to say. Ah, of course. But still, I'm satisfied. I admit that you have served me well. Yeah, uh, I think you impressed her with your money, but that's about it. What did you say? Uh, never mind. See, see you again soon. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 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 See, the English noble talk is not that hard to understand, right? But I wonder if the Japanese, if this was like an actual Japanese, if it would be that hard to understand. Maybe I've just watched too much TV. That could also be the case. But either way, <laughs> that was uh, that was a good one. Let's see, what kind of abilities are we going to use? None. Why are these assholes all the way over here? Hammer her fist on the freaking nuts. This place had more alcohol drinks, right? Yeah, quite a lot, actually. Quite a lot of food as well. Thank you, must Okay, back to do the training. Beat it! Beat it! With the beat, beat it! Oh, what's funky? Damn it, de qualifier. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't actually know this one goes into a gramp. That's funky. Let me empty my bag while we're running past a save point. And save, actually. I don't want to risk my ass getting uh, kicked again due to stupid ass game crashing. Once is more than enough in this game. And I wasted about three hours doing that. Today is going to be a long session of streaming, so I might as well be safe rather than sorry. Ah, there you are. Did we... We need to do the after image first. Allowing to grab during a quick step. You will not vex me this time. For sooth, there is no point in reacting in innate comments. Well, good to see you're dealing with your anger issues. Hm. Let's move this elsewhere. It's going a little bit too long, so I've... So, what shall we do? Hmm, I don't know, nothing special. I'll leave it up to you, Leocom. But I just asked... Uh, <laughs> you really have no clue, do you? Fine, once a witless peasant, always a witless peasant. Well, looks like you've got that anger of yours under control. Good job, Leocom. Of course I do. I am not a member of the unwashed masses like you, after all. Alright, you're some kind of aristocrat. <laughs> At least you understand that much. Methinks I'll just have to give you another lesson. All right, let's get started. Are you sure you are prepared? Ah, uh, forgot to, um, yeah, but let's just go. As ready as I'll ever be, let's go. Very well, then let the contest begin. Did he just fucking uh, land uh, Komaki uh, drop on my ass? being a tough ass right now. Guess we're gonna have to keep sliding.
I'm gonna lose all my buffs. <laughs> That's super annoying. At least I can get a lot of repay, uh, HP refill a bit. Look at it go, yo! Fucking Komaki dropping my ass! Tiger dropping. actually grabbed my ass there or kicked my ass. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, Jesus. How many times have I told you not to punch me as if it's a real fight? Wait, I thought we were going to control your temper. Silence, Vessel, I have decided that I shall show you the full extent of my wrath. You sure gave up quick. Adelepate ignoramus, I shall not suffer such disrespect. All right, all right, please forgive my trespass, Master. You better have learned something after all the torment you put me through. Of course I did. I'm not going to waste an opportunity like this after all. Very well, I accept this. Well, except this, a true master can take a bruise or two if his students can learn from it. But no, this not one or two, my whole body has become an enormous whale. You know, exaggerating like that isn't a very master-like. Isn't very master-like. You're no whale. If anything, all this exercise is helping you lose weight. That's not a we Never you mind. Away from me. I say, oh, come on. It is your turn to serve me, Vessel, and it is best to be something exceptional this time. Okay, I'm gonna go ditch or uh, throw away my hammer and grab a new hammer, and we're bringing it. I'm bringing a few better weapons to the next fight because this is gonna. I'm not gonna make it this time. Next time. Bring the Nameless Katana for a bit more damage and the Snowman Hammer. Uh, this one discards so that we can get a new one with max power. The snowman hammer. Dun, dun, dun. It's 
and run all the way to the other side of town to get uh, food. I see you there, sir. Rich man! The thing that always frustrates me about the lessons, the teaching things, is that... If you aren't too, pee, too busy, please come and see me. What was I saying again? Is that I can't use my heat moves. Would make fights a lot easier. Almost got all the food items, that's nice. I think we're gonna do Xiong after this anyways. Whether I have enough money or not. I think we should be fine, to be honest. Chotto chotto, no go away. He said stop, but I didn't say stop, so we're going. <laughs> Yeah, let's just get Shion out of the way. A sock about your life. Alright, advice time. Let's talk about your life. Nay, we must discuss what I must do with the maiden's mobile phone number. That's an easy one. Just text her. You simpleton that this part that part is apparent. I do not, however, know what to write. Well, why don't you start with asking her on a date? Can't go wrong with that. A date? Too late to get cold feet now, Leo kun. You know what you have to do. Or are you going to chicken out? Throw away a perfect good opportunity and in the process end up wasting all the work I've done? Enough. Enough! I shall text her. It would be a shame truly to waste your effort. Sarcasm aside, that's what I want to hear. Now, let's write that text. Such a thing is beyond me, so I am trusting you and I'm holding you accountable if anything goes wrong. Tell me what to text and I shall say it. I'm no expert, but I'll do better than leave it up to you. So here goes. Start with the subject. It is I, Ayako Chi. Mm. I enjoy talking to you. I hope you didn't mind me coming up to you. I hope you don't mind me approaching you. Words can describe how beautiful you are. How about dinner sometime? I'll be watching you. <laughs> Let me hear from you. So what do you say? Sounds good. Let's see what you've got here. Are you certain this is a wise thing to do? We'll never know until she reads it. So, hit that send button already, nobleman. Fine. Woman. I sent to thee! Beep. Now we wait for her reply. She replied. What did she say? I'd love to go out to dinner with you. Yes, you scored big time. You were amazing, Shinoda. Finally, the recognition I deserve. Now, 
it's time for me to take flight and leave the proverbial nest, right? It's not like I can go on your date with you. Now that that's settled, I must need, I must need to make preparations. We have to propose, uh, postpone our training for. No worries there. You just focus on your date, buddy. Oh, and be sure to let me know how it goes. Indeed, let us meet at the usual place sometime hence. Okay, so he's actually not here now. No, go away! Not in the mood. <laughs> I have a date of my own. Okay, fine, whatever. gonna go hang out with oh wait actually do I should I yeah probably should go grab the other <sighs> first drink twice at first shot and the bartender will talk to you baskets watch baseball in the VIP room talk to the guy sitting in the betting center yeah you know what fuck it we're just gonna go and like we've gone before and well whatever I think we should be fine, honestly. Shinada-san! I'm delighted that you requested me. What would you like? A gotcha drink! With a little bit of luck, crazy, please. Wonder what you'll get. Q Kiki. Platinum membership card. Now we're talking. <laughs> I feel so much more at ease when you're here, Shinada san. You do? How come? Customers like you are rare, so there are lots of things I'd like to ask you about. How am I rare? Most of the people who work around here are from... are all from here too. Since you're not from Nagoya, that makes you an exceptional case. I see. Well, there are many reasons why I'm here. Would you mind telling me about yourself? I'm really quite curious. Well, it's been 15 years, but I first came here from Tokyo because of work. Oh my, that long ago? Yeah, but I got the axe almost right away. Oh my goodness. Nagoya can be a tough place for outsiders. Have you had a tough time here? 
Yeah? Not at all. People downtown are really nice to me. I'm greatly obliged to them. I suppose they would be. But you've been in Nagoya for 15 years, you said. That practically makes you a local Shinoda son. <laughs> That's good to hear. There are many families who have lived here for generations, so I suppose it's natural we would seem in Shirol. It doesn't bother yeah. me. I went through lots, but this town has finally accepted me. I'm good. I'm happy to hear you say that. The city can be so unfriendly towards outsiders. Not sure I'd go that far. Choose a subject to talk about. Um, nothing. Let's just talk about... What are your plans for New Year, Shinada-san? That's a regular... One, right? Huh? Nothing special. I guess the usual for me, which is either running around crazy, busy, or sleep at home. What about you, Shion-chan? My grandmother is coming to visit. I haven't seen her in a long time, so I'm really looking forward to it. Sounds nice. I wish I could spend the holidays like that. But we don't do this every year. My grandmother doesn't come see me see us very often. My grandmother lives in Lyon, France. So regardless of who visits whom, it's always something of an undertaking. Wow, you can say that again. So are you half Japanese? Half Japanese? Yes, my mother is French. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> this is my natural hair color, you know. Figured. It's not a very high chance, but figured. You don't look it. I would never have guessed if you didn't mention it. They say many of us who are half Western, half Asian take on more Asian appearance as we grow older. Uh, that wouldn't be too surprising. If... Um, me paying enough attention to uh, things makes sense. That would be your dominant genetic trait. Does that mean you look more French when you were little, Shinchan? Yes. My eyes were even blue back then. I looked like a little Western doll. Really? I'd love to see pictures. Uh, let's talk. Question. I got a subject though. We can. There's one subject we can use. Chicken wings are full of collagen, which is. Oh wait, never mind. We can just do. I've never used any of the gossip subjects apparently. So many cars. There sure are a lot of cars here in uh, Goya. They say the world is moving away from using automobiles, but you'd never guess looking around here. Is that so? There aren't more cars in places like Tokyo or Osaka? Yeah. Nope, there are way more here. I bet you have a car, don't you, Shion-chan? Of course, is that not normal? I guess it's a foreign model. Man, it must be nice to be rich. <laughs> I wish you could have one too, Shinoda-san. I think a sports car would suit you quite well. Sweet, I'll buy one. Just have to save up the cash. How much do you think it'll cost? New car would be around 50 million yen, maybe. Limited edition models would run about 30 million, but I wouldn't recommend those. Whoa, seriously? That's insane. Oh my, is it? Well, if you can't afford a new car, perhaps you can negotiate for a second-hand uh. one. <laughs> Maybe if they could bring down the price by one, preferably two decimal places. <laughs> I cannot stand people who are careless with their finances. Especially those who borrow or lend to others excessively. Wait, what? You got a problem with people who lend out their money, too? Borrowing and lending based on half-hearted verbal promises tends to lead to trouble. It's better to have an agreement that's strictly documented. 
Moreover, giving money to someone who cannot afford to pay on their own only allows them to spend beyond their means. Tell me about it. <laughs> Lending money to some th someone who's broke, someone who's broke is as good as giving it away, and I know. <laughs> Indeed, the act of giving is quite a noble one. Expecting that to be repaid strikes me as quite tactless. I wish everyone thought like that. It sure helped me out. Speaking of which, I've noticed you always pay with cash, Hinada-san. Hey, you know it. Our club levies a service charge on cards. Is that why you pay in cash? Yep. Even a small percentage at the club like this can be a whole lot of money. I'm all about spending all as little as I can. I suppose so. But some people still ask for a formal, a formal receipt so they can expense their club charges. They ought to pay that on their own. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. In the end, money is money, no matter where it comes from. What do you mean? Unless you are an exec, a company won't reimburse charges from a cabaret club, so asking for a receipt means the guy at least has some pull. After all, a businessman's worth is determined by how much of the company's money they let the guy spend. I hadn't considered that. I always figured it was best to simply pay your own way. If you had the cash on hand to do so. But I suppose asking for a receipt is a form of showing off his manliness. You taught me something new, Shinoda-san. Maybe I can write this off as an expense too. You're coming up to on your time limit, sir. Would you care for an extension? No, we're, we need to go. It's all about the speed. Shinada-san! I had a lovely time today, me too. Ehe. Ehe. I need to snack on something. Give me five seconds. Actually, better idea. Give me five seconds. And we're back! Okay, so in the meantime, we got a text message. I have a feeling that one is from, ah, uh, oh no, from Xion. Xion here. My friend sent me another one of her homemade Christmas cards. That's not something we really do in Japan, but I always look forward to receiving mine. You should try sending one yourself sometimes. To write back. Okay, we're going back in. Did you come to see me? Have you taken an interest in me? I wonder. Gotcha drink time. I'm surprised you know that I got so many high luxurious items so often. Just sight. That's not like you. Is something the matter? Sorry. My mother found out that I work here. <laughs> Busted, huh? Ah. I hear that happens a lot. All the girls try to hide where they work, but most of them get found out eventually. Yes, my mother wasn't upset with me. But I still feel like I've done something to be ashamed of. None of my other girlfriends are working. So I'd be somewhat ashamed 
if our neighbors found out one of them. What do they all do? Housework and the like. The ones are ones who are married are dedicated housewives. Housewives, I imagine. Being rich sounds awesome. Hmm. Wish I could live a life like that. <laughs> Perhaps you should find yourself a benefactor, Shinada. <laughs> sure. Love the chance to freeload at some rich household. Well, a good many artists and musicians are invited to take up residence at wealthy estates. I'm not exactly talented in those ways. My only redeeming quality is my hard cut pod. Oh, but there are individuals who support athletic financial athletes financially as well. Well, there are. Yeah, sadly, you're not allowed. To. <laughs> okay, let's ask a question about her hobbies. What do you like doing? Hmm. Give me a sec. Annoying. What sort of hobbies do you have, Shion chan Hmm, maybe travel overseas? Yes. Conversely, though, I haven't traveled around Japan much at all. What do you like about it? I love to take photos. That's my main reason to go on trips. You take photos? Yes. I bring an SLR with me. I'm good at taking photos with manual focus. Oh, that's good. That's amazing. You're really hardcore. I'll take hundreds of photos on a single trip. Enough to fill an entire album. Maybe next time I can bring some for you to look at. I'd love to see them. So easy to take pictures with a mobile phone these days, isn't it? Now I take pictures all the time. I don't yeah. do that. Same. Oh, why not? Because I'm a professional journalist. I'm also an amateur who uploads pics of what he had for lunch to his blog. A real photographer should strive to only take pictures that contain valuable information for his audience and nothing else. <laughs> you sure do take pride in your photography. I can respect that. <laughs> it isn't... It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> what sort of photos do you take, Shinda? I, well, I take pictures of people. You mean portraits? That sounds like it must be interesting. Come to think of it, I don't think I've had my picture taken since my high school graduation. You don't even have a photo at the club? Mm. Yeah. No, I don't. There would be problems if my photos got uploaded to the net. Hmm. Well, I could take your photo, if you want, Shion-chan. Yeah. Oh, you bet. How do you feel about nudes? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> of course. You'd make lovely subjects. That isn't the issue here. <laughs> hey, you're still young. What's wrong with having photos from the prime of your life? Mm. I suppose just once wouldn't hurt. And I bet someone like you would take lovely photos. <laughs> Now we're talking. Promise a promise, okay? <laughs> Smooth, bro! Um, we're over the thing, so we're fine. We're leaving. Thank you very much. Shinoda-san.
see. It's almost daytime. Date number uno. The card doesn't seem to do a lot, does it? You still pay the same amount. Mystery stone. Chinada san, I'd like your advice on something, asked Wei, my lady. It's, well, it's something quite inappropriate for me to ask you about. Don't worry. You can talk to me about anything. Well, thank you so much. I knew you'd say that, Chinada san. Really? Hmm. Hey, cool. I'm glad you trust me. I believe you are a big name company in Nagoya, uh, our regulars at our club. And they had their year ends party the other day. The manager said we'd get a bonus if we went as companions to this event, and so a number of our girls did just that. Did you go too? Yes, it was a good chance to hand out my card. It's pretty clever. So I met one of the directors at the company, and he was quite smitten with me. Heh, <laughs> way to go, Xion Chum. Uh, to work people who have money, huh? Well, after we met outside the club a few times, he wound up proposing to me. Oh, damn, that's a little fast, isn't it? Quite. I had no idea he'd been thinking of me like that, so it came as quite a shock. What are you going to do? You didn't have to say yes to him, did you? No, not yet. You mean you didn't turn him down on the spot? You're quite perceptive, you know, that son. But yes, this is why I'm somewhat troubled. There's nothing to suggest he'd make a poor husband, so I have no reason to tell him no. Isn't, isn't not loving him reason enough? In my world, arranged marriages are the norm. Few of us ever marry out of love. I see. Cringe, bro! Cringe! Ask question about her thoughts on romance. Hey, Shun Chong, what do you like in terms of romance? Hmm. In what sense? What do you like to see in a guy? What do you look for in a man? Wait. That doesn't count up. What turns you on? I guess. Well, I like it when a man checks his watch. There's something sexy about a man rolling up his sleeve. I see. I see. Most people nowadays check their time, the time on their phones, so I guess compared to that, time on a watch would seem refined. Oh, so you really do get me. Also, I can tell his income by the kind of watch he wears. The first time I meet a man, I always make sure to check his watch. Whoa, you've really thought that? It was really... You're really thought about this. <laughs> The other day, a friend of mine invited me to the track to watch a race. That's unusual. Are you into that sort of thing? My friend's boyfriend is an amateur racer. He was competing in the race with his own car. So we went to Chairman. How did he go? Do. Well, he struck another car part way through the race. So he had to drop out. Thankfully, his injuries were minor. That's good. 
considering the speeds those guys reach, it wouldn't be surprising if they got pretty badly hurt. <laughs> Quite so. When the accident happened, I had to turn away. Mm. It must have been terrifying. Your friend must have been in tears, I'm guessing. She actually looked fairly unconcerned. All she said was, oh, jeez, not again. Again? <laughs> so you, you, again, you mean he crashed every time? Yes, she said it's rare for him to even finish. Wow, that guy sure is determined. I don't get what goes through rich people's heart heads. You can say that again. Oh, oops, didn't want to actually do that. Do you think... Mm, do you go out drinking every night? Wait, that's a different... Uh, what kind of... I guess, what? Oh, here. Yeah. Not every night. Yeah. Don't have the time or money to live like that. Ah, she didn't have any experience partying downtown while I was in school. So I don't know this part of town very well. Really? Yes. As a result, I'm rather curious about the other clubs in the area. We want me to tell you about them. I've been to almost all of them at least once, so I can let you know what they're like inside. Really? Yes, please do. It's not an easy thing to simply ask people. Well, easy enough for me to talk to other guys about it, but it's harder with women. Players might not like what they hear. I'm quite interested in people with unusual jobs. I love customers who share interesting stories. Even if they're infrequent visitors. What sort of jobs? See, there was a man in here who specific, uh, specifically recall... Recall was a bed tester. Is it some kind of sex thing? Like he gets to experiment with that room plane? Hmm. Goodness, no! <laughs> Lies. This one says it has up. I mean by bedroom play anyway. <laughs> it's not that, huh? <laughs> All he does is sleep on the fancy bedding used by high-end hotels and then writes up reports on how comfortable it's such a strange way to make a living. Imagine being paid to lie in a bed from morning to night. Whoa, sounds like my kind of gig. Hilarious. Shinada san! <laughs> it's time for the date. Yeah, where do I even need to go to? TV station mid square. I'm drunk as fuck.
ありがとう Just need to do、uh, the talking one, three more times in total. Stay. That's what I was waiting for. Hello, s h i n a d a s a n It's s h i o n s h i o n c h a m What's going on? Is everything okay? I just felt like seeing, seeing you, s h i n a d a s a n Would you care to go on a date? No? A date? Absolutely. Wonderful. Okay, then I'll be waiting for you at the base of the TV tower. Don't keep me waiting too long. I'll be honest, this one is a lot faster with the hostesses. It's only five hostesses, and the dialogue goes by very fast. And the events. Oh, s h i n a s a n sorry to keep you waiting. I've been looking forward to seeing you. I thought we could talk a bit more. Would you mind walking with me? Sure, let's go. It's a nice change of pace to stroll through town like this. I typically drive to the place I want to go. Yeah, I get what you mean. I mean, not that I drive a car or anything, I'm usually just running around trying to meet. Deadlines. <laughs> so you don't get the opportunity to slow down and take the sights much either? Nope. Plus, there's nothing but buildings in this part of town. The greenery of the park is kind of relaxing. We have a small garden at our home. The flowers aren't in bloom right now, fortunately, but come spring, it's quite lovely. Love to see it. Single family homes with their own gardens must be nice. I'll have to show you pictures sometime. I'll take plenty of photos every year, so you can see the garden in all four seasons. That sounds nice. I'd like to see it firsthand too. <laughs> my, you want to come to my house? It really won't be worth your while to visit right now, though. You have to wait until spring.、Hmm. No big deal. <laughs> it was a stupid thing for me to say anyway. I'll be sure to bring some pictures for you to see instead. I do hope you like them. It ain't really the garden I'm interested in. <laughs> What the hell are you talking about?、Mm. Oh, that's right, the other day. The other day I was walking around here and had a bit of trouble. w h a t really? What happened? I came across an older woman who was lost, and so naturally I approached her and offered to help her find her way. But it turned out I didn't know how to get to where she was headed. And so, in the end, I wasn't able to give her the direction she needed. Hmm. Aren't you from here, though? c h i o Chan. Do you not know this neighborhood? I don't know. And it's not as if I'm from another place like you. c h i o Chan. I'm a local, so it's embarrassing to not know these things. <laughs> You're so kind. Heck, if I ran into that sort of situation, I'd probably all forget about it right after.
because I don't get to see my maternal grandmother since she's in France, and my father's mother died when I was young, I try to help the elderly when I can. But in this situation, I was completely useless. I just wound up making things worse for her. I think it's nice of you to feel that way. I'm sure this woman was happy that you at least tried to help her out. You really think so? Yeah. So if you ever run into that sort of thing again, don't doubt yourself and try to offer whatever help you can. If you say so, Shinda san. In that case, I should walk around this neighborhood more often. That way I can familiarize myself with these streets and provide directions to someone else in the future. Sure. And I can go with you. This neighborhood has changed so much. Yeah. This Ferris wheel wasn't here when I first came to Nagoya. Yeah. You know, the office building my father worked at when I was in high school was around here. Oh, whoa, really? Where does he work now? Oh, yeah. Several years ago, the office was relocated to somewhere else. It's no longer in Kinicho. I see. I'm glad your my job doesn't do the whole transferring thing. Though, I do wish I could travel to other cities on business. <laughs> You're quite fond of your job, aren't you, shinoda san Sure am. It may not be what I dreamed of doing when I was a kid, but it's kind of a dream come true in a totally different way. Dreams, you say. I somehow doubt my own dream is ever going to come true. Shion chan Hmm? Mm -hmm. What was that? Something happened. Hey, you, what are you doing? Damn. What in the world was that about? What's that just now? I don't know. Nobody I know. I don't think. Did you know him, Shion chan No, I don't recognize him. Hmm. Maybe he was just talk taking photos of the scenery. And I snap and when I snapped at him he got spooked and tucked still. She's hiding something! <laughs> Had a great time. Thank you for taking me out today. Hey, anytime you want. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you again at the club. <laughs> at the club Of course, I sent my reply quite some time ago. There's a lot of mail at th this time of year, and air mail takes around two weeks to arrive sometimes. That was this New Year card, so I don't need to send one of those as well. You sent all yours? Wish I had someone to write to. Okay, time to go talk to Xion Chan again. It's just three more visits, Jordi. Then we're done. Hello, welcome to Club Eden. <laughs> Thank you for coming. This is just for you. Gotcha drink, boy. Thank you for coming. I wonder what you'll get. Fingers crossed. French cologne. <laughs> what about him? I told my mother about his marriage proposal. Oh, well, really? Yes, at first she was pleased, but as I told her more about him, her disapproval dis grew. How come? Isn't this guy a big shot at some huge corporation? Figured she'd be bouncing off her gilded rock card. She's actually worried because his family's 
social standing is too high for us. Sounds complicated. <sighs> That's why I'm not down with getting married or being rich. Just kidding. I still want to be rich. <laughs> oh, Sheena Dasan. I thought that the reason you hadn't gotten married was because you haven't found a fiancé. It's got nothing to do with it. Are you seriously going to turn him down because of what your mother thinks? I... I don't know. Why not? Because if my mother gives her blessing, I'll get married. And if she says no, then I can't. I see. But you need to turn him down pronto. You can't leave the guy hanging like this. I can't. I have yet to receive a direction from my mother. What do you want to do? Because all I'm hearing about is what your mother wants. Sounds to me like an excuse to put off making a decision. You really are insightful, Shinoda-san. It's a little disconcerting how well you know me. <laughs> I've just got a knack for reading people. But if you really don't know, you should probably think about it a little harder. Alright. Cute. Do nothing. We're going into a normal topic. Can you hold your liquor, I guess? I come from a sports background, so I have a lot of experience with my teammates forcing me to drink a lot. Oh my. If you were still okay with that, I suppose that means you had a natural tolerance. Maybe. But I haven't done that in a while. That means you can control how much you let yourself drink. I'm somewhat envious, to be honest. What about you, Shion chan Oh, I try not to drink alcohol, actually. <laughs> Can you drink? Yes, I enjoy, I enjoy alcohol quite a bit, but for a while I wound up overdoing it. It was almost a borderline... I was almost a borderline alcoholic. No way, really? My doctor had forbidden me from drinking now, so I'm careful not to even... not to have even a tiny drop. Is that so? In that case, I won't encourage you to drink. And if I think you've had too much, I'll be sure to stop you. I'm sorry to put that sort of burden on you as my customer. Oh, don't worry about it. Besides, it'll be cheaper for me. <laughs> you couldn't allow alcohol to consume my life, which is how I was able to bring myself to stop before I developed an addiction. Like your self-respect saved the day. Indeed, I won't allow alcohol to get the better of me again. What caused it all? There were a number of unpleasant private matters going on at the time. Drinking allowed me to feel good, for I knew it, I was drinking from morning till night. If my mother hadn't noticed and dragged me to the doctor, I may have... I may well have died from... Corrosis by now. Oh, you should be grateful to your mother. Yeah. Yes. So I strive never to trouble her like that again. Ask a question about herself. Tell me about yourself. Got any quirks? Oh no, my parents refined those out of me when I was a child. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess your family was a fairly strict one. Because of that, I'm fairly sensitive to the quirks of other people. I spot them a lot on my customers while I'm, I'm talking to them. Since they involuntarily... Is there involuntarily habits? I suppose they can't be held accountable. But I would like them to fix the real bad ones that upset me. You have any? Mm -hmm. That's an interesting question. Aw, tell me, I want to know! 
I've always liked the idea of living overseas. In fact, I only really watch movies and TV dramas from aboard a bronze. Mm. They do seem more popular than Japanese one don't, ones, don't they? They've got a way bigger section at the video rental place too. And I love gossip about and I love gossip about the actors more than their work on screen. <laughs> yeah, you girls sure are into that sort of thing. Like tabloid shows and stuff. I'm frequently surprised when I see how foreign celebrities live their lives. That's why I'm looking into getting a, cr a green card so I can live in the US for a while. What's so great about America? For one, they're not pressed for their time, like we are in Japan. Everyone there values their personal lives over their work. Plus, it's all so big and vast. I feel like there really be room to live, you know? Gotcha. Wish I could live that like that. So how do you uh, go about getting one of these green cards? I suppose the fastest way would be marrying an American man. My mother earned her Japanese residence by marrying my Japanese huh. father. Alright, you are half Japanese. You can also enter a lottery for one, but they only hold it once a year. And only one in every few thousand people get one. That's absurd. If it's that unlikely, what do you, what's even the point? They limit applicants based on certain criteria, but the number is still that small, yes. Maybe I'd be better off giving up. Keep at it. Moving to another country is a huge deal. You can't expect it to be that easy. You're absolutely right, Shinada-san. I'll look and see if there's some other way I can get to it. Shinoda-san! Come back soon. I'll be waiting. <laughs> okay, sorry. Lately, I've been getting the feeling somebody's following me. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> <clears throat> Seriously? Huh? What the heck makes you think that? Like I was saying, whenever I leave my house or the club, it feels like someone's watching me. Oi, oi. I can stalk her, alright? You should be careful. I just wonder who it could be. I don't think... It's one of the clients here at the club. Do you have any ideas, Shinada? Shinada? Hmm. Come to think of it. Oh, you were out on that date. There was someone who was taking pictures of you, remember? Oh, yes, you're absolutely right. You think that's who it, wa who it is? Maybe so. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. But why would he be following me? Well, I'm quite troubled by not knowing why. Want me to escort you? This can be dangerous neighborhood, so don't count on strangers stopping if you need help. 
I'd feel much better having you with me, Shinoda-san. I'd love it if you did that for me. I mean, I have to work too, so I can't stick with you 24-7. But if you feel like you're being followed, give me a call right away. <laughs> I will! Choose a subject to talk about. So many cafes. It's not that many. I've noticed there are a lot of coffee shops around here. As you mentioned, I suppose there are. Do you not go much? No, we do. When I have tea with friends, for instance, we often go to a coffee shop or tea house instead of someone's house. I wonder why everyone would... And everyone around here loves coffee shops so much. It's quite relaxing. We wind up having long conversations and can spend even can even spend the time better parts of the day there. Do you go to them often as well, Shinoda-san? Of course, practically every day. I like being able to go into a coffee shop and order up the usual <laughs> cup of coffee with toast and a salad. Throw in an egg on the side. That's the stuff. Here it's typical for shops to provide a complimentary uh, accompaniment as well. When I went to Tokyo, it was rather surprised when I wasn't served anything else with the coffee I ordered. Nagoya is the best. <laughs> I don't think I could stand living anywhere else. I'm so delighted you like it. Speaking of our coffee shops, they really do feel more like restaurants, don't they? It's actually not uncommon for families to go to coffee shops for breakfast, weekends and holidays. It gives mothers a break from cooking. Sounds lovely. Ada, Ada. I always had baseball practice in the morning, so I could, so I never could have a family breakfast like that. Really? Yeah, so the owner of the coffee shop sort of became like family to me. My, in that case, would you be so kind as to introduce me to this coffee shop of yours? I'd love to go if you're so fond of it, Shinoda-san. You got it. I'm sure you'll love it. Slap down. Are you alright? You're not feeling overworked, are you? No, there isn't anything wrong with me. The girl who was assisting me earlier was rather inattentive, and she wound up upsetting my customer. Jeez, I hope you chewed her out for it. Can't girls get fired for angering a customer, especially on their hostess client? I did indeed. I took her aside and gave her a warning, and she said, Put a lid on it, you cranky old bitch. Wow! Wow! Whoa! So I struck her without a second thought. <laughs> that slapped her too. Even if she wants to nab your regular client, she has to be a team player. She learned her lesson. Indeed, lately younger girls don't have any respect when speaking to their seniors. This is a cabaret club, a high-end club. Would never hire girls like that. Yes, but what really concerns me is that this girl hasn't been the only one. Oh, there have been others. Might go so far as to say it's been nearly all of them. All of them? Everyone seems to have it in for me. Attacks me at every opportunity. You think it... I'm that much of a disagreeable woman? Strike you as disagreeable? Why do you mean why? I can kind of see why other girls around here don't like you. See, why is that? Your politeness could rub people the wrong way. Your style of talking is really refined and polite, so it may sound insulting to them instead. You should try to be more direct with people. It'll make it easier for them to relate to you. You think so? Then I shall try to be more mindful from now on. Thank you for your advice, Shinoda-san. <laughs> Though, honestly, I have a hard time imagining you speaking casually, Shion-chan. <laughs> TMI! 
あのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあのさあ The Jet Set Elite overseas may fool around and play the field, but I am not a woman of such loose morals. I intend to remain a virgin until after I walk down the aisle. You are so pure. A real proper lady. Naturally, marriage partners must be chosen carefully. I have a friend who had to marry this good for nothing who got her pregnant. I will not fall into that same trap. I suppose guys can be gold diggers too. Uh, I mean, wouldn't fool around either. Nope. <laughs> Shinada san, are you dating anyone currently? I am. I am not. Why does. I am. <laughs> I haven't counted. <laughs> See how many was it? <laughs> My sounds like quite a few. You're quite the playboy, Shinada san. Ain't I just though? <laughs> I think men should be able to have relationships with two or three women soon. What? 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 Okay. I feel like those who insist they are only seeing one person are lying to themselves. <laughs> I am confused. Whatever, let's just go with what gives me points. Takes skill for a guy to cheat. He needs to dream about dating girls all over Japan at once. Really? My job had me traveling the country, so I thought since I had the opportunity, it would be awesome to have a girlfriend in every city. It'd make way games more fun and make me more motivated about doing my job. <laughs> Men with many lovers really do get their job done. Why not make that happen now? Sure thing. What do you say we start off with Nagoya? This is a... I, I'm not sure if I like that conversation. Not really impressed by that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to think of that one. That uh, kind of felt like uh, Kume and Oncho Chicho. Waiting for a phone call. No, we're waiting anyways. I might as well eat some chips that I've been slowly eating. Hmm. We're almost done, though. Almost there. And all that's left is one more girl in Kamarucho. Nada-san, are you there? Shinchan, what's up? I, I think I'm being followed again. Ready? Okay, I'll be right there. Where are you right now? I've left the club and I'm walking towards Kulum Kume Boulevard. Got it. I'm gonna hang up, but pretend like you're still on the phone. 
it'll that'll make it harder for someone to bug you. Understood. I need to get to Shion-chan right away. Hope it's nothing, but... I still have a beat-up face during all of this. It's fucking hilarious. Jim-chan. You're not hurt or anything. No, I'm fine. Where's the stalker of your I think behind that street light over there. Street light. That guy over there. Hey, stop! Alright, buddy, start talking. Who are you? I'm with Kine Detective Agency. You're a detective? So you're not a stalker? Are you protecting her? Wait, you know she never said anything about hiring a detective? No. I've been asked to conduct a background check on the young lady. I can only assume she mistook me for a stalker. Background check for what? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. It's my policy as an investigator to maintain my client's privacy. Hmm. Could be anyone, for all I know. I'm betting I can still turn you over to the police taking photos of people without them knowing it's still a crime. I'll simply claim the photography is my hobby of mine. I simply take pictures of what I see, since when is that against the law? Hmm. So, that's how you're gonna be, huh? Alright. Now, instead of the cops, how about I turn you over to the Nagoya family? The Nagoya family? I'm guessing you heard of them. Listen, man, I'll talk, I'll talk. Being on the side of threats like this sure is bizarre. Hired me to investigate. Shion san is an executive at one of the leading companies in Nagoya. Then that means, yes, yeah, someone has asked me, asked for her hand in marriage. So why the investigation? It's not uncommon for influential families to conduct a background check on potential spouses. It would be problematic if they had associations with an undesirable crowd. Undesirable crowd. Shion san might not be. At your client's level, but she's from a pretty wealthy family too. She can't possibly be trouble. Yeah. Actually, my investigation has turned up some alarming facts. It turns out she and son owes a considerable amount of money. What? Well, technically her parents do. They've sold off their mansion and now live in an apartment that costs 70,000 yen per month. She hasn't said a word about any of this. Goya women are a prideful sort. She wouldn't want to tarnish her mm -hmm. reputation. Shion chan. Did you hear all that? Investigator son, is it true that you were hired to perform a background check on me? Hi. Yes. Yes, miss. And unfortunately at this point I'm afraid my client is likely to resign his marriage proposal. Hmm. But degree is everything in Nagoya. Despite your family's good name and long history, he cannot marry into a legacy that has fallen from grace. To hell? Hey, Shion Chum. I bet Shion Chum's in shock. What am I even supposed to say to her? I'll figure that out later. Or sh would Shion Chum go? I bet she's over near the Ferris wheel. Hmm.
Damn it. That does kind of make sense with her uh, thoughts on loaning and depths and whatever. Jin-chan? Mm -hmm. Have you come to laugh at me? Are you uh, a delaying girl who pretended to be rich when she was poor all along? Aw. Of course not. Can you even think that of me, Shion chan when I wouldn't want to be judged by how much money I don't have. I'm not going to do that to anyone else either. So, can you tell me what's going on? It's true you're in debt. But how? My father's business failed. And we were left with nothing but debt. He worked so hard trying to turn things around, but the fatigue and stress was just too much. Your father worked himself to death. You think it was strange, you know, the son. A proper Nagoya woman has no business being a hostess. None of you and my other friends rejoice in receiving gifts from clients. Or have to work so hard sending out emails to maintain good business. Ever since my father passed away, my mother has become weak. I'm the only one who can possibly repay our debt. And that's why you got the job as a hostess. I thought if I worked hard enough, I could pay off those debts and we could live our happy life from before. When a client asked me to marry him, I was hesitant at first, but I decided to accept or to save my family. I guess that's out now too, huh? It's all because we don't have money anymore. When it comes down to it, our family lineages and good name are worth nothing. That's not true, Shion san Chan. Chuan! What? Even if you don't have money, it's being together that makes you a happy family. So what if you're poor? What if you pretend to have more than you do? The important thing is whether or not you're proud of the life you were living. What do you want more than anything, Xion Chan? To live a life of luxury? Or is it to have your family back to the way it was and all three of you were happy? I hadn't thought about it that way. As long as my family was happy again, I couldn't care if we didn't have any money. That's the spirit. I I will decline the marriage proposal. I think I've had quite enough of men who care only about my family's background. There's the Xion Chan I know. Said I found a man who's kind enough to tell me he doesn't care if I'm poor. Can't ask for anything more than to spend time with someone who accepts me for who I am. Shinada san, would you like to be my boyfriend? Really? Me? You bet I would. <laughs> yes, and in exchange, I want to know everything there is to know about you. Like dick size and, uh, I mean, what? This is actually the first time any of the hostesses say, Do you want to be my boyfriend? In that kind of sense. Imagine you were men of far more modest means. <laughs> I know how to work hard. Always make sure my place is guests ready. Maybe we can work together to pay off my family's debt. Right. How much do you owe, anyway? It's actually... Whoa, that much? My father's business was liable for quite a lot. Debts are nothing compared to what the company can accurate. You can see something like that would lead to bankruptcy. This will be such fun, shinada son. Just you, me, and my mother. Surely be quite happy together. <laughs> yeah. So lucky to have you by my side, shinada son. That smile kind of... I don't know. Mm. I mean, we have a 1 million uh, depth as well, so... Don't know how much millions they have in depth. Debt. But hey, who cares? One more talk to her, though.
It's strange because nothing has really changed at home. I guess it's thanks to you. I'll do my best to put the past behind me and live for today, just like you, Shinda, son. It'll take me a while, though. I doubt I'll be able to show the real me to anyone but you for a while. Okay, we do need to do one more dialogue before it's actually her thingy is completed. I've been waiting for you, Shinada-san. Always have to test my luck. We gotta know if Arn Jesus is at our side, after all. to my mother about what I've been dealing with. She told me to stop being so too proud to ask for help. And that's above all else, my late father would want me to lead a fulfilling life. I agree. You are only lying to yourself. You gotta be who you really are inside. I'd never have, I'd never have realized it without you, Shinada-san. Thank you. I was actually thinking of introducing you to my mother, Shinada-san. It made a reservation for us at a restaurant later. I'm all self-conscious now. Been a real live fancy dinner before. My mother is rather vocal about table manners. So you better be on your best behavior. What? Oh man, give me a break here. I'm second thoughts already. Choose a subject to talk about. Nagoya girls. <sighs> you Nagoya girls sure are amazing compared to the girls in Osaka. You are way more, how should I put it, more glamorous? Well, at least more flashy. I hear that a lot, actually. Do you really think so, too, Shinda? <sighs> Second thought, not so much. Like, that's what I imagined, but reality seems to be coming up a little short. Wow. See. In what way does it not live up to your expectations? Are Tokyo girls more showy? I'm rather curious. Tokyo has you be. <laughs> Ladies are no match for the ones in Shibuya or Ropo own game. Oh, I had no idea. I have to ask my mother to buy me better better clothing at once. I will not be outdone. <laughs> Girls here do all wear nice clothing. And it's all designer stuff as that. I suppose so, but is that not the case in a fluent region? I guess the rich just outnumbered the flash, yeah? Indeed. I'm sure certain areas where the wealthy getter in Tokyo feel just like Nagoya. Yeah. Not at all. You should check out Tokyo, then you'll see what makes Nagoya so special. That could be fun, but it would be so boring to go by myself. Perhaps I'll go with my friends. Uh. I'll be one group of tourists that really stand out. True. The next time I travel... Next time I travel, there's some place I'd really like to go. Hmm? Where's that? <laughs> A casino? I wouldn't have expected that. You don't strike me as a gambling type, Shun-chan. Well, I've never tried. That's why I want to go to a casino at least once in my lifetime. I guess once could be a good experience. Must have been 15 years ago since I got close. When I was younger, my family and I went overseas. And the hotel we stayed at had a casino. But since I was underage, I wasn't allowed to go in. My father went by himself while my mother looked after me. My father looked like he had so much fun when he came back that I've always thought about going myself. I get you. 
なるほど Now that you can go by yourself, you finally have the chance to achieve that childhood dream of yours. Which is why I'm thinking of going. Sounds nice. <laughs> I've been waiting 15 years for a chance, so you, if you've been waiting on. I've been. I fucking can't read. Should go and have some fun. <laughs> Fortunately, it doesn't look like I'll be able to travel overseas anytime soon. I mean, that's a shame. Uh. Yeah, we're. Done. We're leaving. <laughs> the smile on his face. His model's a little bit broken, though. <laughs> Can't eat like a normal person, Brunton. Okay, now we can actually progress the story for a bit. Or, well, after we, um... <laughs> kick this guy's ass. Ah, there you are. What do you want? Train me. Can I talk to you for a minute? Whoa, Liukum, you're serious all of a sudden? <clears throat> I, I can't do the voice anymore. I can't, like, I imagine, when I saw his uh, outfit, but now I can't imagine the outfit anymore. It's about your training. This shall be the last time. What? Where did this come from? I've changed quite a bit thanks to your advice. And for that, I must admit, I am most grateful. You're welcome. Yes, well, simply put, as a scion of aristocrats, I must hold fast to my honor. I must, I must needs grow stronger. I must grow stronger, that I am able to do so. Cannot have myself crying out in pain whenever you land a solo bro, Yokun. So I shall give you no quarter from now on, Shinada. I still expect to be routed, however, that you... That's just how good you are. But I can accept defeat, so long as I can fight with all my strength. I shall channel the pain into the refinement of my being. It's having so much fun at your expense, though. <laughs> you have to go and ruin it by getting serious. But again, Liakun, I know you have it rough in your own way, but don't worry, because I'm gonna meet you blow for blow. Shinada, you have my thanks. Now then, shall we begin? If you are prepared, that is. Let's go! That's a great start. I need to get him close to the wall, otherwise I can't perform the...
snowman hammer! This is why we grabbed the hammer. Blast! And blast again, I say. Still no match for you. You may find this frustrating, but I'm learning so much by beating the snob out of you. You learned my bashing combo essence. Shinoda, do I detect a hint of gratitude beneath all that sarcasm? Aw, oh, no need to be so stiff and formal. I mean, you and I are pals, aren't we, Liu Kun? Enough about that. Whatever happened with that girl you met? Maybe something I shouldn't ask. She's my girlfriend now. <gasps> Sorry, I didn't... Wait, wait. Did you just say what I think you did? No way! Are you serious? Like, serious, serious? Of course I am. There's no tall tale to tell. That's awesome, Liu Kun. I'm so happy for you. So who asked who out? Did you ask her? Of course I did. That's the gentleman's duty, after all. Can't remember last time I was so happy for someone. You're like... The Shogun of Shwave. She know that what? What what? We're friends, aren't we? Wait, friends? I'm not your vessel anymore. I'm a new man now. Having a girlfriend has enlightened me. Now I have someone who accepts me for who I am. I don't have to try to impress people by playing the aristocrat card. I can keep taking pride in being an aristocrat, of course, as it both serves my will. But I don't need it as a crutch anymore. Leo Kun. I fought with all my might, and still you routed me. That's why I've decided to go back to the basics and start my training anew. Besides, I have someone to protect now. Whoa, now that's really cool. You are impressing the hell out of me now more than ever. I'll be rooting for you, Leo Kun, so keep up the good work. Shinoda, what? I've got to try my best too, so you don't outdo me. I'll be seeing you, Leo Kun. I hope you'll make your special lady happy. I shall. Of course, and the next time we meet, you'll see just how magnificent I've become. Awesome. Looking forward to it, buddy. Take care, Shinoda. I bid you farewell. Now that is nice. We get another reward, right? I ya no ko's training complete. Equip one-handed weapon, then triangle. Well, that's it. We're going to... Um, didn't take that much damage, which is good. Let me drop this Shiza. Then we go to the... Combini... Dang it. Item box, item box. We're selling this one, this one, this one. I need some space, bro. Okay, more than enough.
Mastery of wrestling to perform one grappling move after another. Ooh, essence of arm bearing. Spear throwing. Doc, give me uh, one of these, two of these. Oh, wait, maybe I should have done... Oh, we got a price ticket, which is nice. Pretty sure there were still a few things that I need to grab in this restaurant. After that, we're heading home. Because we pretty much did everything. I'm not that broke. It only cost me about 150, which is not that bad. Iron 50k, I mean. Okay, we still need to get this one. And... This one is maxed out. I as well check another restaurant on the way back home. Or at least for the food. Where's the entrance? Oh here. He's uh Wait, is this the is that it? Holy shit, boobs! Whoa, this place is crawling with cuties. What's this place? <laughs> Hello, I'm Saki. I'll be your surfer today. My server, huh? Nice. But whoa, Saki-chan, you're really cute. And I like your outfit. Yes, the custom customers are just a small part of our unique dining experience. Well, that's intriguing. So, uh, am I allowed to ask you about your hobbies and chat you up before ordering? You sure can. My hobby is playing video games. I actually work as an assistant at a game magazine, too. Cool, you work a lot, huh? Yeah, are you into games, too? Mm, I used to play before, but not anymore. I play way more if I could afford it. That's too bad. We could have had a much longer conversation if you were more into games. Crap, I should have said I like games. Just keep it talking. Mm, well, if you're into games, then I gotta check them out, yeah? Great, I'll look forward to hearing about it next time you come in. Now, what can I get you to drink? Oh, yeah, order. <laughs> Ooh, we already drank everything. Mm, no drink. Wait, we eat everything here already? No, you know what? We'll just uh, take it and leave it. Oh, well, must mean because this is a restaurant that's in one of the other ci cities as well. That saves me at a restaurant to fill up, though. What's this place called again? Gotta check it, obviously, if it's correct, but... Izakaya Hanako Kinecho. Uh, list. Minigame. No, not minigames. Food and drink. Izakayo. That's the drinks. This is in a different city. Izakaya Hanako. Yeah, okay, so the both cities have the same menu. Okay, good to know. Onisa! Saiki 
damn it. You guys are getting in my way. You know that, right? About to time order dinner in like about an hour, right? I'm actually kind of glad that it's 5 a. It's like 5 p.m. and it's still not getting dark outside. Does good. Does me very good. Seppi is happy for my good health. I like that. Gotta get some sleep? Yeah, bro. Let's go get some sleep. You will soon be at about hopeless. I hope that due to me building down on my medications and stopping eventually that I don't have to be this hot anymore during the day. あの男の依頼受ける覚悟がついたんだな。もう過去から逃げたりしない。どうせ逃げられっこないね。どうして俺が休会を永久追放されなきゃならなかったのか突き止めてみせるよ。そもそも野球賭博に関係してると疑われた
その後輩を問い詰めたけど結局何も聞き出せなかったそのすぐ後そいつは行方不明になっちまったしね何だとまさか他の誰かに消されたってことなのかさあそれはどうだろうどちらにしろ俺一人では真相を探れそうにもなかったとにかく俺はその日からずっと自分の過去から目を背け風俗ライターとして生きてきたんだはあんお前さっき警察の捜査に乗り出したって言ったかサイン通ってそんなに重い罪なのかことが野球賭博に関係していると見られたからね一選手が打率を上げたいがためにやったことならまだしもでかい金が動く組織的な賭博容疑になっちまったし挙げくチーム全体にまで捜査の手は伸びることになったってことはひょっとしたらお前個人への恨みとかじゃなくワイパーンズを潰すために仕込まれた罠だったって可能性もあるってことかそうだとしたらそれは結果的に失敗だねあの事件で球界を追われたのはチームでも俺だけそれにあとは藤田監督が騒動の責任を取らされ辞任に追い込まれただけだ藤田かそういや昨日のニュース見たか東京で監督に復帰したみたいだな15年前にワイバーンズの監督を辞任してからずいぶん長かったなこの人はあの一件で俺以上に人生を狂わせちまった人なんだよあんなに俺によくしてくれたっていうのにお前が一軍にいたのが一日だけならそこまで世話になる関係もねえだろうそんなことない二軍で腐りかけていた俺を見つけてくれたのが藤田さんだったんだ二軍の指導法じゃ俺本来の良さが出ないって言ってじきじきに指導してくれてそのアドバイスがあって俺は一軍に上がれたようなもんなんだ恩師みたいなものだったってことかでもそうか考えたことなかったけど藤田監督を失脚させるために俺を利用したって可能性もあったのか。That or it was Fujita who would set it all up. 情けないよ。恩をあだで返すって、こういうことを言うんだね。まあ、本当の狙いが誰であれ、事件の裏で必ず得した人間がいるはずだ。てなきゃ、無名の選手をはめる理由なんてねえからな。とりあえずだ、当時のチームメイトとかに、片っ端から聞いて回るっていうのはどうだ球団を辞めてからチームメイトとは一切連絡取ってないんださっきも言ったようにあの一件でチーム全体にも野球賭博疑惑がかかったりして今さら合わせる顔もないって感じなんだけどね唯一知ってるとしたら球団専属のマッサージ師だった人が金栄町にいるんだマッサージ師おいそれってもしかしてお前が金を借りてるあいつのことかうん。宇野さん、今は小さな鍼灸院やってる風俗狂いなんだけど、チームメイトからの信頼は厚い人だった。その鍼灸院の場所はおびいた通りと紬通りの交差してるあたり。早速行ってみます。I know he's only thinking of his own money, right? But、uh, I'm kind of surprised he's so、uh, gentle about it right now. This is daytime. I don't really care about daytime. I do care about、uh, the evening. So I need to remember that.
留守閉じまりもしねえでのんきなやつだうのさんまたどっかの風俗行ってるなだったらここで待つとしようすっきりしたら戻ってくんだろそれが今はうのさんすっきりできるお金ないんじゃないかな俺から3万回収しようとしてたくらいだからじゃあ何しに付属行ってんだよそんな時は決まって写真見学回り永遠にお店をはしごして写真を見てるよああじゃあいつ帰ってくるかもわからねえじゃないかよ探しに行くしかないね<笑>機嫌に何店舗あると思ってんだよお前宇野さんは新人好きだから新しい子が入った店をしらみつぶしに探していけば会えるはず宇野さん prefers amateurs Huh? How do we go about finding a fresh face at one of these massage parlors? I'm sure a nightlife navigator like you knows all about the naughty stuff. Not off the top of my head, no. But take a look. If we ask the info booth, like the one over there, we should come up with some leads. But damn, never thought my job would have me hunting down a pervert hunting for prey. Life sure takes you strange places. <laughs> <laughs> Warriors on the wall path. Yeah, I already know. Fuck you, come here. Welcome, what sort of girl are you looking for today, sir? Hmm. I think I'd look for someone who is kind of new. Hmm. A true connoisseur. Someone new and exciting coming right up. Okay, the two newest ones are Momo chan from Resort Boing and Noriko chan from Boom Bust. Boom Bust. Got two choices, huh? Okay. Tell me about them both. Momo chan's 29 year old with a hefty pair of D's. She got the real erotic mix of adult sultriness along with the fresh faced newbie peel. Okay, and what about Noriko chan? That's 25 and a real perky little gal. She's got B cups along with a fit body that makes only guys in Kinecho drool. Hmm. They sure do sound different, that's for sure. Wonder which one Uno san would go for. If he likes new girls, wouldn't you go for the younger one? There's that, but he's pretty twist he's a pretty twist guy. An older girl who's new to the job might be just the kind of thing that'll get him going. Right, anyway, my vote is for Noriko. Still not sure. Oh, mind telling me where these two places are? Chance or resort bling. At the south end of Sumugiri Street, Norco is at Boompus, north of Kumano Boulevard. Thanks. Now, which should I go to? Does it really matter? I honestly can't remember which is which, so we're just taking the one uh, closest. You sure your guy would go for the older chick? Don't know about this one. Believe me, that man is wrapped beyond salvation. He'll rub himself on anything. Oh, hey there. Welcome. Will you both be getting massage today? No, sorry. Just wanted to ask if a guy came looking for your new girl. Balding, middle-aged guy. Seen anyone like that? Hmm. Call seeing anyone that description. No. God, that's a strike. Told you. You went straight for the younger babe. Looks like it. And I guess we're off to boom and bust. North end of Kamara Boulevard. This is already turning into an adventure when you say, Oh, sure, it's a real excursion. Excursion? Excursion? Ex I can't pronounce for shit. Apparently. I don't know if it really matters which of the two you take. We'll see that uh, sooner or later. Here we are, boom and bust. A little room, a lot's lust. Bet he went with younger girl, being that he likes small innocent. That would be a reasonable consumption. Uh, excuse me. Welcome, party for two. 
Oh no, we're just looking for someone. Did a balding middle-aged guy come looking around asking for your new girl? Oh yeah, he was here all right. He was a peeping, was peeping photo after photo, girl after girl, and then he just left. Yep. We found our man. Know which way he went? An In information booth across the street. I believe he had it there. So Unison resumes his hunt to humor his hidden desires. How's that for a headline? This fucking guy. <laughs> No, it doesn't really matter, apparently. Oh, perfect, I actually know this guy. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, hey, Shinada, what's new? Not much, listen, did a middle-aged guy come through here, kind of mopey, lacking in hair department, most likely asking for amateurs? Oh yeah, I do remember someone like that. Why, what's going on? Nothing, we just need to talk. Any idea where he went? Mm, not too sure, I did tell him about two of the newest recruits, so he might have gone to see at least one of them. Against, again, the Wild Goose Chase. Can you tell me about those recruits? There's Kurea-chan at Operation Panties, and this lady is dynamite. She's 34, but she doesn't look a day over 20. She's hot, fellas. Kurea-chan is an industry vet, too, which means she's not really an amateur. She just changed parlors. Makes me wax philosophical over the meaning of age. It's inspiring. The other one? That would be Mika-chan over at Rubble and Takis. The girl's barely 20. We're talking farm fresh gents and I kid you not she's got zero industry experience fortunately she's not all that attractive in terms of both looks and personality so don't expect too much out of her I relate all that to your buddy too could these bimbos be any more different hot promoscuous prodigy who actually more mature than she lets on innocent young flower whose petals have yet to unfurl never mind the fact that she's nothing going for her this is a test for uno san who of how Unosan would define his ideal amateur. I don't give a damn about this guy thinks this one's on you, buddy. Hmm. Hey, where are the places located? Operation Panties are on Ichigo Street. It's in the same building as your favorite club, Futomoto. Go figure. As for Rubble, Taki, and Mika-chan, why they're right across the street from your place. Okay, so we're going for the south one this time, right? Just doing my job, friend. Good luck on your search. Why are the guys that, uh, the people that run with you always so fucking slow compared to, well, my Speedy Gonzales? Don't come snooping around if you're not gonna pay! Why the heck not? Your sign says browsing welcome. Yeah, but what kind of creepo comes to all the folks for half an hour? <laughs> oh, Mitsukita! Shinada, hurry, I need that 30 grand! Found me a real amateur, no industry experience, and she's born in the 90s! Go back to work, you know, son. You can't just ditch your clinic to go playing around all, all the time. I don't want to talk. No, give me. Hold that thought. I'm here to ask you something. <laughs> Money's first. I'll cover his expenses.俺は前と違ってやばいやつにはかかわりたくないんだよ。別に借りるわけじゃなくて返してもらうんだから。嫌なことって。ああいうやつは一度関わると骨の髄まで食い物にされちまう。だが、お前からいつか<笑><笑><
<laughs> there is no way that Kasugi fucking GG, bro. That old parf. He was so giddy to get paid to get laid. Nearly threw up in my mouth. <laughs> It's fucking fantastic. Oh, something falling on my head. More or less. Someone just tried to fucking off you, bro. Like, what the hell? Not just a little bit either, like, he just literally tried to throw a fucking... Here again. Fucking giant... Plant pot, what the hell is this? They're trying to off Shinada. Talk about bad... This is not bad luck, bro. This is someone trying to fucking off him. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand that shit, bro. He's here already. What a simple <laughs> Oh I'm a paying customer. You see the loan shark's money? Has feelings, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. セカン以外のマッサージを受けるのは現役の時以来だよ。だから早朝割引が使えなかったのが悔しくてな。まあ、そういう面じゃ今の方がありがてえよ。また。こんな時まで冗談言わないの。首になったんだよ、俺も。15年前、お前が追放されたのとほとんと同時期だ。俺の他
the big ones from east and west. The Omi Alliance. お前、あの時のプロ野球選手だってバレたら、ぶっ殺されてもおかしくない。<笑> Damn, this guy's abs, yo. あ、当たり前だろ。俺を誰だと思ってんだよ。悪いね、うのさん。変なことばっか聞いちゃって。ま、おかげで風俗代稼げたぜ。じゃ、ありがとう。うん?おい、シナダ。携帯忘れちまってんぞ。な。小野さん。思い出した。まさかあの時の携帯のせいなのか。携帯がどうかしたんですか。ほら、さっき話したろ。15年前、俺が突然クビになった時のことだ。実はあの時も今みたいに選手がマッサージルームに忘れていった携帯を届けたことがあったんだ。ああ、誰の携帯あれはそう確か真鍋だ。真鍋の携帯だった。ああ、真
I wonder if I can actually go do fish that fishing thing right now. It is evening now. Should try. It's at least safe here. Really trying to fucking murder the guy. We're going to the wharf real quick. I'm gonna do that fishing uh, for the last fish that I can catch here during specific time. 30 to 100 meter vinegar squid. Oh wait, I should have gone to the, towards the, during the day as well because of the fucking shark. Oh, I'm a dumbass. <clears throat> really, IQ zero person, Yordi. Fuck it. Thankfully, daytime is definitely something we can still interact with, according to Call Mad. Stinky face again. Fifty meters, bro. Okay, that's the blowfish. It's only during the day the great white shark, so I'm not gonna try it. We got our blowfish at least, which is something. Kenicho, Kenichi, Rio. I need to take a toilet break again soon. Actually, I think I'm going to take that toilet break right about now. BRB, guys. 
and we're back. I think a good moment for me to end the vault for today, for not for today, for this section, and order food is when I get some free time again with uh, my boy Shinada. Manabasa. Manabasan. Uh, Who are you? だれだったかな。勝手に調理場に入られると困るんだがね。覚えてませんか。そうっすよね。たった 1 あんたのことは忘れたくても忘れられんがね。<笑> なんの用だ。できることなら <sighs> これ以上その言葉を口にするな。死にたなかったらな。あからさまな脅しだな。これじゃ疑ってくださいって言ってるようなもんじゃねえか。うのに聞いてきたんだ。ええ。聞きたいこと言うのは15年目のことか。はい。
当時の野球賭博のことを公にしても時効で罪に問われないはずだその黒幕は誰だったのか突き止めようと思わなかったのか思わんこともなかったが危険を犯してまで突き止めようとは思わんかったわ危険実際ワイバーンズから他球団にトレードされた選手の一人がそのことを暴露しようとしたんだ。八百長に耐えきれんかったんだろう。だがな、そいつは不良の事故で死んでまった。事故だで、これ以上探るのはやめろ。よう分かっただろう。俺もあんたもマジで命が危なくなるぞ。もはい、危険な目にやっとるんじゃないかもう身に覚えぐらいあるだろうそういえばまさかさっきのもうかいやって Go back to your regular life, damn bro <笑>最後に一つ聞かせてくださいなんで15年間隠し通していたことを教えてくれたんすか危険だということは承知していたはずなのにどうして結果的にお前が追放されたことをきっかけに野球賭博がなくなったのも事実だだでお前には知る権利があるそう思っただけだ俺が追放されて野球賭博が終わった何なんだよそれさっきの質問がセアゴだと言ったろあとは自分で考えろそしたらわかるはずだこれ以上首を突っ込むことがどんだけどえれやことなのかテンチョ今日やっとらんのおお、今開けるとこだでええー、どうぞ Damn, bro. It's right all along. I should get to his clinic and let him know. Let's hope that there are no more fallen pieces on, on my head. Shit falling on my head. Shit falling on my head. <laughs> Dirty, what the fuck is there so fun? Why the fuck is that so funny? I don't know, man. Just trying to uh, alleviate the moment a little bit. So, yeah, the Yakuya Tobacco was going on. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. ヤオチョウを仕組む必要のある人間答えは簡単だうちの長男でもわかるぜ野球賭博を仕切ってたヤクザほほうついに息子に追いついたか Oh, he finally caught up to my son, grade six だけど、結果的にそのヤクザも俺のせいで賭博の利権を奪われたやっぱり渡航した人間なんて思い浮かばないよヤクザが利権を奪われ名古屋を撤退して喜ぶ人間地元の敵ぐらいかいや登場会と近江が去った直後に名古屋組が誕生して今に至ってるんだ名古屋組この土地で極道不在だった時間はゼロに近いそうか得してるじゃん誰がだよ名古屋組だよ確かに東上海と海東西の大勢力が仕切ってた土地をただで手にできるほどうまい話はねまさか15年前のホームランあの一連の騒動は名古屋組を設立するために仕組まれたもんだったってのか野球賭博を利用して東上海と近江連合を名古屋から追い出すそのためのサイン等疑惑そしてあのホームランそれが真相だとしたらこれほどやばいことねシナダ悪いことは言わねえもう手を引くんだ名古屋組か
高杉さん俺は相手が誰であろうともう引きたくない俺を名古屋組の組長と繋いでくださいやめとけマナメの言ってた通りこれ以上は首を突っ込むことはやめるんだなんで高杉さん名古屋組と繋がってるんでしょ組長を紹介してくださいよそうすりゃ報酬がもらえるし借金だって俺は別に Personally, I'd rather put my your fingers through a metal press. Takasugi-san, I'm not a fan of your hands. But I want to know what happened to me. Okay. 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 誰も見たことのねえくせに誰もが知る名前その名古屋組の名前を使えばみんな震え上がるって知って脅し文句に使ってただけだ I made that my bluff of choice Oh look at the guy snooping there 名古屋組って組織は組長 Look at the guy behind the door See if, the, if it goes back to the fucking、uh, shot there 俺もよく知らねえんだ Face, 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 もし名古屋組の組長ってやつから話を聞き出せれば2000万円の依頼は完了高杉さんに借金は返せるし俺は自分を利用した人間を知れるだからその名古屋組ってのもそこの組長ってのも実在するかどうかもわからないんだぞでもそれ以外道はないでもどうやって探すんだよん匂わないかガス漏れてんぞまず開けるまでだ Look, see the guy? He was already there To land that one once, at least in my life. I'm running fucking fast all of a sudden. Have you seen that? He's leaving me in the dust? How the hell is he running so fast? Oh, it's a sprint. What was just a... shifty man. すいません。実は。危ない。来た。again。again。これひで。事故じゃない
えあそこの屋上に人影が見えた屋上って何も見えねえぞどんな視力してんだお前視力は 2.0 胴体視力にも自信があるけどまさかどんなやつだったんだよなんでこんなところに知った顔だったのか誰なんだワイバーンズでチームメイトだった酒井さん酒井どうしてお前が酒井さんあんたが殺したのか答えろよ酒井<笑>ここじゃ人目につくでよ Too many people around. Let's take this inside. <laughs> Whew. Okay, sorry. Need to sound evil. Sagai san, let's make it great. Do you got another? Genki ni atra sirna, Shina da, Uno san mo. Katte da yu gota wagatur. Kedo Shina da. みんなをよう俺をよう許してちょそんなもん持って許してほしいってどういうつもりですか品田スラッガーにとって一番美しいプレイヤー何か知っとるか犠牲フライだがやチームのために犠牲になる自分が塁に出ることは絶対ないが誰よりもチームに貢献しとる。シナダー。おめえのことは絶対忘れせん。許したってしょう。後悔してももう遅いでよ。See what are we gonna be using? I wasn't actually planning on using Whirlwind Essence. This is what I wanted to use. Okay, well, do we have any other abilities that we still need to... Yeah, sadly we got the bashing combo that I need to do, but instead I use the other one. The rolling essence because I use the pole. Kiryu used as well. <clears throat> I think in four or in three. Sakai san, Tanomu kara hanashite hoshi. Toshite konna mane o. Tama tama ano toki o. Omae ga ichigun ni shoukaku shite kita koto de o. Ichigun no naga de omae dake ga jijou o shirasen chu.都合のいい状況が生まれてまってよ。俺はな、シナだ。おめえには悪いことしたと思っとるが、おめえを犠牲にしてまったことを全然後悔したらせん。犠牲？おう。おめえは名古屋のために犠牲になってまったんだわ。
井さん酒井さんおいダメだ死んでる俺が名古屋の犠牲になったって Yeah, to get to Tojo and the Omni Alliance are the fair. Everything's set up. Fujita probably uh, set it up. Because he knew about uh, the bribing and everything, so that's why he also took that bullet then. Probably. Most likely. If I had to guess, right? The price of the truth. To with a nice insight into how good Shinada really is. He uses all teammates anymore. His town up. Ball,お客さんのもんですから。また明日も明後日も打てばいいだけの話です。ホームランボールの一個や二個。どうってことないですよ。でも、大丈夫ですって。<laughs> <laughs> ここだけの話なんですけど、俺自分で打った球とかをお客さんから譲ってもらって保存するようなやつ。好きじゃないんすよ。なんかちっちゃいって思いません？ほら、あなたは。So <笑> あ、あ。シナダ達夫さんですね。チートお伺いしたいことがありますので、こちらへ。あ。え。あ。え、加減吐いたらどうなんだ。だから。やってないもんはやってないんですって。本当か。いい加減返してもらえませんか明日から広島との この写真の男がギガンツのキャッチャーのサインを盗むよう<笑> なんとか監禁されてたら体が生っちゃう。帰らせてくれ。おめえは名古屋ワイバーンズの勝利に200万かけ取ったらしいだね。え?この写真の男がな、お前が野球とばくに関与しとったとも証言しとるんだ。何言
借金まみれの女が泣き言言ってんじゃねえよ大体そんなこと言ってっからお前なあバリーバリーうい、えー、こっちの話だよいいから文句言わないで働けよじゃあどうした<笑>今日仕事ってわけでもないのにパソコンなんか使って何見てんだこの15年間の沢田の投球データだよデータなんだよこれプロのスコアラーが作ったみたいなやつじゃないかまっそこらのスコアラーのデータよりはマシだと思うけどねどうしたんだよこれ Y バンドのやつからもらったのかいやまさかお前ずっと自分で配給データ作ってたわけじゃねえよなやめられないんだよねあれだけ野球を忘れたいって思ってんのにさ I like that they've known each other for 15 years already 12球団全一軍投手のデータだよコース吸収スピード逆玉かどうか全部入ってるなんでこんなもん高杉さん前に球種が分かっていてもホームランなんて打てないって話したじゃない実はあれ半分本当で半分嘘なんだプロの世界じゃ来た球を打ち返すってだけじゃ一流のバッターにはなれない相手の配球を8割方分かった上でその球を打ち返すそのうちどのくらいの確率で前に打球を飛ばせるかが一流と二流を分ける差となるじゃあお前はあのホームラン狙って打ったっていうのかあああの時俺は知ってた6球連続カーブの後ツーナッシングから沢田がストレートを投げてくるってねで今さらこの海で何しようってんだ配給データの奥に名古屋組の正体が見えるとでも言うつもりかいや真鍋さんや酒井さんの言ってたことが本当かどうか確かめてたんだなんでそれ真鍋さんは俺が球界を追放されたあの事件の後から八百長が亡くなったと言っていた確かにデータを見る限りワイバーンズは15年前のあの試合を境に素人目にはわからないレベルだがおかしな配球やおかしなベンチワークがきれいさっぱりなくなってるそんなのデータだけでわかるのか野球ってのは驚くくらい定石の塊のスポーツだからねなるほどなそれだけじゃない15年前の試合を境にワイバーンズはチーム編成に移転しています。それまでの地元出身の選手を優先的に取る方針から外国人選手の獲得、トレードも積極的に行ってる。それじゃ酒井ってやつが言ってた話と逆じゃねえか。確かあいつはお前のことを名古屋を守るための犠牲者だと言ってたが、あれって。名古屋出身の選手を守るって意味じゃなかったってのかそうなんだよ。酒井さんの言っていた名古屋ってのはチームのことを言っていたわけじゃない。もっと大きな。例えばそう、この町全体に関わるような話なのかもしれない。町金栄町か。俺も高杉さんも。この町の裏側を知っているようでいてその実情は知らないもしかしたら名古屋組を探るにはこれ以上球団関係者ばかり追いかけていても意味がないのかもしれないな15年前あの事件がきっかけでこの町に何か変化が起きたのかそれを探る必要があるってことかあ,あ誰かその辺の事情に明るい人間はいないのかそれならもってこいの人がいるよこの町の顔役的な人がね
顔役商店街会長をしてるダイニングバー牛島の店長牛島さんだ俺がこの辺に流れ着いた時からよくしてくれてる人でね牛島さんならこの界隈の裏事情にも精通してる。さてとじゃあ牛島さんの店に行ってみますかマシな情報はつかめりゃいいがなうん、mm. I could do the fishing as well for the thingy Yeah, it's not like we can read what it says, bro. Oh, what is this? I'm not sure. 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 シナダに金貸し取るあんまり評判のようない氷菓子さんっていうのはどういうふうに聞いてるか知らないがこれでも結構客からは慕われてるけど、ね、まあ俺としては払ってくれるんだったら誰でもお客様だあんなんだお前こんなにつけで食ってたのかもしかしてこれ当然、元気に出しておくからな。Well, if everything goes well, we'll be paying that one off in one giant swing, anyways. で、聞きたいことって何名古屋界隈のことについてなんだけど。おお、珍しいな。あんたがそんなこと聞いてくるなんて。ちょっと仕事で風俗以外の記事を書かなくちゃならなくなってねそれで聞いてんだこの辺りっていうのは15年前と比べて何か変化したこととかあるのか例えばそうあの名古屋ゴミっていうのをできたのもその頃だって聞いてるんだがなんだあんたら名古屋ゴミについて探っとんのかなら何にも話せんわどうして俺らは名古屋組に恩義を感じ取るんだ恩義ってどういうこと15年前それまでの金栄町はひってえもんだった本日町通りを境目に東上会大見連合が島争いしとってな裏じゃその飛ばちりを受けて揉め事や抗争が後を絶たず治安も相当悪かった今はこんな平和なのに当時、野球賭博の利権を握っとったのが、登場会と大見連合でよ。まあ、賭博の利権に限らず、東と西の勢力図のちょうど真ん中に当たるこの辺で、勢力がぶつかり合う形になっとったんだ。ほんでも、ある事件がきっかけとなって、二つの組は名古屋から出れてまった。15年前のワイバーンズ野球賭博の一件だ。覚えとらんかあ、ああ、あれか。ま、俺はろくにスポーツも見せんから、事件の内容はよう知らんけど、その事件で野球賭博への警察の監視が強まり、それぞれの堂元をやっとった登場会と大見連合が、名古屋から撤退することになった。
東条会と近江連合と入れ替わりでこの辺を取り仕切るようになったのはその名古屋組だわこの辺が名古屋組の島になってから15年極道には変わらんだろうがそれ以来構想も見かじめもなくなって不名誉の事件が起こった事実と引き換えにみんなそれなりに満足した毎日を過ごしとるんだ名古屋のための犠牲点と点が結ばれてきたなあんた名古屋組のボスって男に心当たりはないのかあんたら何のためにそんなことを調べとるか知らんけどいい加減にしとけボスが誰かなんて知らん誰だろうと興味ねえわこの町の裏側を名古屋組が守ってくれてるこの町で商売する人間にとったらそれだけで十分なんだわ Took my brother away. Toriyama san ga. Dora ni. Wakaran kedo. Otoko no hitori wa hoppe ta ni kizu ga atta. Ima ato otte Nagoya kon no 62 ban soko chikaku made kitoru nda kedo. Miruki chan. Takazaki san. Ora chotto itte kuru. お前が行くっつんだったら俺も行くしかねえじゃねえか高杉さん<笑>じゃあ牛島さんまた何かあったら聞かせて<笑>ああそうそうこのコーヒーはつけじゃなくていいよね<笑>なあ That's to port of Nagoya don't really have anything else that we can do right now. Uh, completion list. We need to go check heat actions. This is... Team Ascent. Oh, so I just need to go do the knee bash, which is with Akiyama or Shinada. Okay, need to remember that. To actually do that this time around. No. Sorry, no, but a little busy here. Shinada, get out while you still can. What's wrong? These bastards showed up and. Gah! Shit's going heavy. Hey, what are you doing on the phone? We have to hurry. It's in her son. He's in trouble. We have to check on him first. Shitting me? Seriously? You know, son, first? <laughs> Shit'll go fast and very fast, though. Is going very fast. So are they also taking care of Milky Chan and uh... yeah. Uh, once we get Uno San done and uh, drop off Takasugi with Uno, uh, we're gonna end the vote there. There's no battle here, Sanch. Stay! 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 Yeah, so uh, Milky Chan is gonna have to wait because I'm gonna do the typical completionist thing, <laughs> which sounds very bad right now, but I am also very hungry. We also got a side mission unlocked, which we most probably will be doing as well, but after I ate dinner. Uh, so yeah, uh, we need to get a pearl for completion stuff, and for that I need to save, and I need to save scum until I get the pearl, using uh, the tickets that I have. So, uh, 
that's that. Once I get the pearl from the ticket thingy, I will be back. And that will be most likely after I... Um, ate dinner. Not my lucky day, is it today? Let me throw these bastards a little bit around. So, I don't think I talked about this a lot, but you know how when, during certain specific story cutscenes where they are, like, not... or where they're voice acted, I really like the voice acting part, so I never actually read out loud the story at that point. But if you've been watching, you already realize this. <laughs> How uh, high is my um, alcohol? Oh, that's actually kind of chill to know. Okay. Uh, yeah, guys, this is where I'm gonna cut off the vault for t uh, this very moment. I'll talk to you all in the next vault, which is for me in a few hours most likely, and uh, I'll be RB. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. Sleep well. Adios. And sweet dreams. Good night. <laughs>